All right. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? Welcome to the Fierce of Fathom stream. Hey there, Turtle King. Hey there, Korak. Hey there, Cat. Hey, Voidless Nick. Hey, Lori. Hey, Bonzi. Hey, Meredith. Dominic, and you're on the cartoon. Dior, Mishmallow. Hey, 83rd Doctor. Hey, J-Rex, Traveler. Aider Games. Hey, Boogie. Hey, Suki. Dr. Ivan. Hey, Banana Boy. Hey, Wyvern. Caspas. Hey there, Salty. How's it going? Stop jumping, asshole. Hell no, Nick. How's it going? Welcome. So, today is a special stream, mostly because... We're back to VHS Horror. It's been a while since I've taken something like this out of the box. I think last time that I actually changed the look of the streams for a single thing was for Bendy and the Ink Machine. And I really like the look of this game, so might as well try something new. Yeah. We've been streams for a while, but hey, 15 months. Also, hey, Phil. How you doing? Hey, Crazy. Thank you for the 15 months. I'm doing great. I, I'm actually in a really good mood right now. I actually managed to wake up at a reasonable human time today, and I got to spend, like, a full day actually being able to do stuff before the stream. So I prepared something a little nice and different before we started, and I'm feeling just, you know, up for some spooky times. <laughs> hey, Shy Mike, thank you for the one gifted. Yeah, I don't know, just... It's been a while since I've played just, you know, VHS indie horror stuffs. I think... I think, like, I've been focusing a bit too much on, like... Switch games and weird games and just, in general, like, big AAA stuffs. When... I, you know, I started the I started the channel mostly focused on indie horror, you know, like indie horror or like indie games. So right now, I think it's the time to properly come back to an indie horror game with Fierce to Fathom, which is something that a lot of people recommended when I started streaming again. I don't really know why. But then I realized, oh wait, these motherfuckers love some VHS horror. And this is episodic. Each episode, like there's four episodes right now released on the online. And each one is like between 30 minutes to an hour to complete. So we got about four episodes to complete. And then if it if ends up being nice, I'll probably cover the fifth episode whenever that comes out. Hey, Crazy, thank you for the one gifted. Phil, do something spooky! Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Ooh. 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 <laughs> thank you. I've never seen this. Can't wait to watch it on stream. Also, I was finally able to catch a Spooky! Stream. Hello there, purple shot in. Thank you for the five dollars. Uh, apparently, a lot of people, like, recommended it to me either because it's been like blowing up online or because like they just thought that I would like it. I saw the Steam page for Fierce to Fathom and I don't know if like this is bullshit or not, but some of the stories in this series are like inspired by real events. So that's fucking cool. I'm back. Hello. Don't worry. I was just showing off the the barrel that I was sitting on. But yeah, just I feel I felt like this was like a special enough stream to like bring out a slightly like put on a slightly different filter for the hangout spot. Why is Fi upside down? Because she is haunted. Woo! I don't know. I mean, I want to keep up the Halloween spirit going, you know. Like, I feel like I didn't get to cover enough spooky games on Halloween, so I kind of want to like. Keep going, keep going with the spooky vibes, uh, at least in November, you know? Spooky games in November? We should be celebrating Christmas! Fuck out of here with that shit! I like some spooky games. Horror is my favorite genre, and 
As long as I get to play some good horror, I'll be good with the streams. I'll be- I'll continue doing streams. As long as good horror games keep coming out, and Deltarune, I will be doing streams for them. So, let's go check the game out right now. Sadly, we're not gonna keep the entire VHS filter for the entire game, because I actually want to, like, show off the game properly. I don't want it to be black and white, but, you know, hopefully you understand that. Hey, Cave the Sucker. Cave of Sucker. Welcome to the Toxic Cesspit. Alright, let's start this out. We've got about four episodes to go. We're gonna start with the first one. Fierce to Fathom, Episode 1. Home Alone. Phil, have you heard the Deltarune news, by the way? Yes, I have. Deltarune is coming out sooner than we expected, at least chapters 3 and 4. Chapter 3 is complete, and chapter 4 is being worked on. And... I think that... I will play it... They will play those three, those two chapters day one when they come out. Alright. Got the game working! Fears to Fathom, an episodic horror game. Home Alone. Like, I, I don't know if this is based on real events or not. Apparently you can send the developers, like, your own stories, but like your own horrific stories that they can turn into a video game. Not really sure if it's legit or not, but I like the concept. These are the currently released chapters right now. We got Home Alone, Norwood Hitchhike, Carson House, and... Iron Bar Lookouts. Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a ho short horror story narrated by the ones who survived. You're playing episode one. More episodes are coming soon. I think this episode in particular is a truly real horror story that happened. Uh, it's not entirely legit, but the stories feel like they could happen IRL. That's interesting. So I guess it's not like paranormal, based on paranormal events? Let's see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So if we send them the tunnel story, they can make a game out of it? Do not do that! I would not like to play a horror game based on my own trauma. But if it happens, I guess I would have to. Shit. Oh well, whatever. You can do whatever you want. Let's play. Ooh, my PC is cooking. There we go. Fears to Fathom, Episode 1. Home Alone. July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Huh? Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. Okay, so it's really leaning into the true story angle. Reddit horror stories turn into a game. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant that I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I'd have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Yeah, same here, buddy. Though I did plan on fixing that. Same here, buddy! Oh, that's annoying. Space to get up. I woke around 8 p.m. after a nap that evening. Oh, fuck that. Is that the birthday message? Where are we? Normal suburban ass house. Pretty good aesthetic, I gotta be honest. Hmm. 
I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Oh, you're literally turning these short horror stories into gameplay. I really like that, actually. Escape to read messages. Mom, three messages. Huh. Mom. Wait, when are you guys gonna be back? Dad and I are gonna be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you yesterday? Okay, cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I promise you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, Mom. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid? Mom, I'm 14! Time to kill this child! I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably gonna order some pizza. Yes! Yas! Yas, queen! No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Okay. Uh, messages to Mason Oliver. Yo. Yo. You coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah. Heard Josh is coming too. What about you? I don't know. What's wrong? Weren't you gonna see her yesterday? She didn't show up. It's like I don't even matter to her. You do matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then your energy. Fuck off, Mason! You fucking nerd! I guess I'm energy then. How's Kem? Oh yeah, crap, I totally forgot. Probably gonna do tonight. Lol, same. My parents are out for the night. Wanna come over? We can play Mario Kart too! I don't think these references are entirely legal, but whatever. I'll let you know. Okay, I'll call Josh too. I can't promise, dude. I may have plans with Nat. Classic Redditor behavior. Okay. So... Make sure to check the blinds before you open up the door. Is that what I... Is that what I mean? Is that what I'm seeing here? Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my parents' bedroom. Oh, hello. Oh, you seem nice. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. Just a strange man watching me through the window. I mean, on the on the other on the other on the other house. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. I don't like that I'm 14 in this situation. That's very fucked up. I can watch through these blinds. Well, she did say that she left me some lasagna on the fridge, so... That's a lot of food. The food was cold. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Close the fucking fridge before you go, boy. You can just throw the lasagna. I mean, I guess I could cook it, but... Oh, throw it in the oven. Yeah, right, this is like a kitchen oven. Phil became the very thing he swore to destroy. A miner! Hmm. Okay, the atmosphere is admittedly pretty good. I'm get I can get into this, I can get into this very well. Nothing out of the ordinary just yet. I fucking love me some lasagna, dude. Alright, let's get the thing out. Food was nice and hot. I liked watching TV while I ate. You're gonna eat an entire fucking tray of lasagna? Fucking hardcore, dude. Okay, nice. 
I think I literally did this yesterday. There's like a spinach lasagna. Though I have to turn I'm gonna I'm gonna have to turn on the TV first. There we go. Nice. It's a growing boy. He needs sustenance. This is a shit TV show. Wait, when was this story? There's no way that a 14-year-old would want to watch TV while eating lasagna. They would be, like, watching YouTube shorts. Like, on their bed while eating lasagna. Oh. Okay, that seems interesting. Can I just eat the lasagna right now? Nom 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 nom. I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Yeah, you just ate an entire tray, idiot. Just throw it in the garbage can. Hmm? Two texts by Mason Oliver. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up, but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Alright. Uh, close that door, by the way. Why do you leave that open? Fuck you. Don't do that. I guess just put it in the sink. I remembered I have to finish up my homework. Turn off the TV. Idiot. Anything outside? No, we're good? Did I close my door? Sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Don't forget Camp 2. Chill out, dude. It's all good. I'll probably just go back to bed after chemistry. Okay, just make sure to leave the doors closed. I don't know if this is the type of game that will just jump scare me out of nowhere. And... That kind of puts me on edge. I don't know if this is the cheap kind of horror game or the... Or the slowly building tension kind of horror game. Twelve thirty-eight a.m. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Oh, it's the middle of the nine. That's a really bright moon, actually. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. Should I go to bed, or...? Oh, I'm freaking out! <laughs> the dude has cold feet before going to bed. 1.16 a.m. I got up to get some water. There's nothing to worry about, Chad. What are you worrying about? We're just home alone. Right?
Right. Okay, the atmosphere is pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Okay, the atmosphere is pretty goddamn good, not gonna lie. Huh. Okay. Let's get some water from the tap. Can I get a glass somewhere here? Right click to drink. Okay, that's enough water for you, boy. I'm just gonna go upstairs now. Why is it so fucking slow when I go upstairs? Move it. Move it. Okay. Back to it. Miles? Who's at the door? Are you there? Oh. Hide. Okay. Do I just need to wait over here or? Oh god, do I have to come out? No! Oh, I can't actually send any messages. Oh god, I have to go actually check out who that is. Oh god, we have to go to the door. We can't just hide. <laughs> Mom, where'd you get the photo from? Paula sent me. Said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Okay! Okay, as I pick through the blinds, he looks straight at me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we fucking go. We fucking go. We go. We going. We going. We going. Lock the doors. Oh. 
Oh, 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 o
You can't stop the cannon event, Phil. Already, we're gonna have to replay, like, these episodes for the different endings. It actually does use your mic in this chapter. When you're looking through the blinds, he looks at you if you make a noise IRL. Huh. Can we test that? Mike is not a thing in chapter one, only starting in chapter two. Okay, chat is fighting itself right now. But either way, I am not gonna peek through the blinds. I'm just gonna go hide. I shouldn't get to hear from Miss Paula this time. Oh, Miss Paula is the neighbor. That's the one that sent the picture. Get that water. I know it does for sure in future chapters because it show, shows your noise meter. Okay, that's better. Get that water, boy. Get that water, boy! Gluck, 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 gluck. Just don't peek through the blinds and be as... Be as hidey as possible. Who's that? Who's that at the door? Are you there? Oh boy. Paula sent me this. Said he'd been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door, no matter what he does. All right, backing up. Don't let him see you and just back the fuck up. Fears do be fathoming. When the parents' bedroom door opens, go hide under the bed until the police arrives. Can you truly fathom these fears? It's Paula at the door. Do you hear her? Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> it's a waiting puzzle. We have to get out, right? Like, we can't just stay here... ...just waiting, right? You have to trigger the door thing. It makes me so fucking paranoid that I don't know if I should, like, go out or not.
Okay, go, go out, go out, get 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 out. Hide, 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 hide. Go! Okay. Okay. Oh, they're there. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we did it. <laughs> the police cannot have been disrupted. Oh, my God. Okay. Shit. Froggy donates two dollars and says, "So when's MatPad gonna make a game theory about this one?" There we go. Okay. Okay. So if I die in any of the episodes, that is not the good ending because the concept of this series is that the stories are being told by the survivors. So if my player character dies, then that means that that is the incorrect version of events that is being told. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Hey, Phil, catching you live for the first time. Welcome to the stream. I'm having a great time right now, actually. This is fucking awesome. Okay, okay. The next chapter is going to be longer and have at least one checkpoint. Very good. We're going to put... This is Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. Okay, Episode 2! Fuck yeah! Let's go! Graphic settings. Ultra. I would like to turn this down to at least that level. Also turn down texture resolution. Anti-aliasing is off. Perfect. Let me just adjust the the game's volume. It's a bit too loud. There we go. This game. Welcome to Fears of Fathom, an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short horror story narrated by the ones who survived. You're playing episode two. More episodes are coming soon. Episode playtime, 40 minutes. This one is good. This one is my favorite. This is a really creepy one. Okay, okay. I'm getting really into this now. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck yeah. I, I, I wanted one of these. Like, I wanted like a real good meaty. VHS horror, horror, like, series. Fuck yeah. This is exactly what I'm into. Oh, it's loading. It's loading. Oh. Oh. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. This is a mic episode. This happened to me when I was 19. Okay, we're an adult. Very good. Based. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming. Gaming! 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 I'd go to every convention when I get the chance to. And sometimes, 
even meet some of my online friends. Online friends. Online friends. Gaming. Gaming. Gaming friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to interstate drives. Gaming. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I went to was great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Uh... Why would you get out of here? Keep moving. It can actually control the car, nice. Uh, press escape to- Do not read text messages on the road, idiot. I guess I, I guess he stopped, so that's fine. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could I please get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No! You're not going on a 10-hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything, Dad? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Oh! No, you're right. We're on the road. Discord! We got ticks, so... I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk. Lol. Air. Alright, lol. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yup. Oh, what a big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord! Where are you? Almost there. I don't see you, peach shirt. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley face, smiley face. Again, you sure about driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call. When you reach back to your cave, question mark. Okay, dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? I stuck stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Holly. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention, question mark? That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, she rerouted. Discord, I'm hauling at the moon and sleeping in the middle of a summer afternoon. Discord, are we your play alone? Da 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 Discord na, 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 na. Oh another text message from Dad Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam. Dude This is I I get that you're nineteen, but this is like this is teenager behavior, fuck you. This is classic shit girl behavior. Oh, you don't even have gas, you fucking fail girl. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Gas, gas. Okay, well, I hope that I can find a gas station somewhere nearby. Look at this fucking fail girl. I'm not a kid anymore, Dad. Told you to take that flight. I mean, he's right. But you don't have to be such a fucking bitch about it. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. I hope you're feeling all right. Oh, he's cool. Okay, he cares. Dad cares. I mean, he was right. 
But that's what Holly gets for being a fucking idiot. Oh? Okay, we're gonna stop on by and get some gas. Oh my fucking god, the atmosphere, okay. The Norwood gas station. Hello there. Ma'am? Hi, can I get a 10 on pump 2? Fucking mom! Hold on. Hold on. My mom my mom's texting me. Hold on a second, sir. Holly? Mom? Feels like papers, please. I fucking... Okay, the, I fucking hate this. Don't you hate it when you get a text from, like, a friend or, like, friend or a ma or a family member? And they just, like, ask, like, hey, dude, or, like, hey, guy, hey, hey, man. And they just don't say anything afterwards. Fucking hell. Okay. Hello, sir? Space? Oh. You heading to the bridge by yourself? Uh... The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful! What do you mean? For about a century now, people have gone missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. That's a very nice fucking thing to say! Locals say that Norwood Valley Monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Mm. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. Uh, you got pumped too. Thanks. I wonder if I'm going to be able to survive this episode in one try or like if I'm going to fuck up. Oh god, this isn't my microphone. Shit. Oh, I can buy a cola. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Oh shit. Get that chocolate. For how much? Consume. Can I get another one? Get more chocolate. There we go. <laughs> That's very good. Can I get more? Just fuck it. Give me more. Cola bottle. Your money isn't unlimited. Then how much money do I have? Okay, I think that's enough. I think that's enough sprinting speed. I think that's good. How much money do I even have? I mean, I'm gonna go into the murder bridge, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the money there, so... Get some nachos. <sighs> yeah, why- why should I stop? I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. Fuck it. Get the chocolate bar.
Don't, Phil. You'll go into debt. Fuck it. I need to survive. I'm gonna go on a binge. It keeps going. It keeps going. I'm gonna keep going. I li there's literally no reason not to keep going. Phil, the gas. Phil, the money. Gas. Money. I already paid for that. Okay, one more. One more chocolate bar. You can't just eat everything in the vending machine. Fucking watch me! <laughs> These are really cheap chocolate bars, by the way. Like, what? 20 cents? A chocolate bar? That's awesome. I, I'm just gonna keep going. Fuck it. This is gonna be the eating stream right now. Diabetes speedrun. Hey, sir, 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 sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna on a sugar high right now. What you, what you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? <gasps> he doesn't have ice. You heard about the Nightwood Valley monster, huh? The Norwood Valley monster. You know anything? Big mistake. Oh. Hello. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Where are you headed? Okay, that's weird. Did the effects of the- of the- of the food, like, wear down after a while? They did. Kind of. If I go vertical, I go faster. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go. Oh! And one more thing. Keep your fucking paws off my vending machine, girl! If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride... DO NOT STOP! Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Uh, Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, NEVER, EVER, under any circumstance, Pick up a hi hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think they are, ma'am. They just ain't. Okay! Oh, the effects of my- of my- of my sprint fucking- the effects of my sprint wore off. That's lame. I wanted to go fast. I know I can't go fast. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Okay, let's go get some dog food for Milo. Where the dog food at? I want to get the dog food. That'll be five dollar, ma'am. I'm not broke. I have infinite money. I am a college girl that went to an anime and gaming convention with my Discord buddies. I may as well be rich. I'm gonna get that fucking dog food. Get in there. I just couldn't put it in the trunk. Alright, well, fucking... Throw it in there. <laughs> yeah, put it in there. And we're driving out. Wait. Do I still have to put the... I still need to put the gas in. Where? What is pump 2? Okay, there's pump 2. Hold on, I'm horrible at driving. 
This is a really blinding flashlight. Yeah, I didn't forget the gas. I'm going to pump two. I just need to back up into it. Just like a 19-year-old college girl, I fucking suck at driving. Hold on, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. It's still there! <laughs> Get that fucking shit. Fill the parking sensor, the what? I filled up the tank and I was off the off to the road again. Let's fucking go. If I see anyone out on the road, I'm gonna like fucking run them over. I don't give a shit. I'm a 19 year old 19 year old college girl coming out of an anime and gaming convention. I don't give a shit. I will run over any pedestrian! Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them just look, looks like you and me. I don't want to read and drive. I don't want to text and drive. Leave me alone, mom! Why do you turn off your fucking headlights, you piece of shit? You're in the middle of the night. There we go. Oh, is that a car in front of me? Yes, it is. No, 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 no. No spooky business with you. No, 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 no. Shush. Shush, 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 shush. No spooky business. I'm a 19 year old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. If I'm a virgin, I will survive. If I had sex in that convention, I'm dead. As per, like, horror, horror rules. No spooky business. Turn on the fucking lights already! Phil, you're a 19-year-old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. You should read the text. Okay, yeah, you know what? Fine, I'll, I'll stay in character. It's not expired or anything, right? I don't fucking know. I just grabbed it off the shelf. Some pretty nice music, though. Phil's gonna have his own bridge incident soon. Oh, don't worry about it, Purple Max. I'm a 19-year-old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. I, I am invincible. I probably also have some kind of, like, disorder or, like, ADHD. I have a Hello Kitty strap on my phone. You just can't see it, because the game just doesn't allow it for it. Oh, 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 we're going through the bridge now. Oh, oh, oh. We good? I'm surprised that the game gives you the freedom to go and, like, actually properly use the, the car. Most of these games would just, like, put you on a track and tell you to, like, press forward on the pedal. Ah! Uh... Mm-hmm. That's about right. Thank God that there is not a not a reflection in the rear view mir mirror, otherwise I would be paranoid as shit. <gasps> Where is this fucking bridge leading me to? I'm a 19-year-old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. I am, I am amazing. I am, I am, I am at the top of the world.
Uh. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That's that's good. That's good. There's this very weird thing about that nine. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. No. This is a girl fail moment. It almost seemed as if someone deliberately put those there. I didn't think much of it at the time. Just move them. Those were heavy. I'm a 19-year-old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. I, I'm strong. I can do this. I'm an independent woman. I'm an independent woman. I can do this. There we go. I did not see if anyone was got behind me, actually. No, nobody got in the car. That's good. Can I not move this log anymore? Shit. Come on! Oh, please. Oh no, it's fucking smoking. The car wouldn't fucking start. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of the f fucking nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest bit of unease. I don't mean to make it sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life I was not told- I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh no, but at that moment I had no choice. Oh no! I was scared to think of how long it would take for someone to pass. Girl failure moment. Ten twenty three PM. I saw a car nearing. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. Oh. Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. I will probably write a blog post about it on my Tumblr page after I get home. Fuck. Ten forty three PM. Hello, 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 hello. No. Oh. Hello. I'm a 19 year old college girl that went to an anime and gaming convention. I can give you my OnlyFans if you let me ride. Free OnlyFans membership? Yes? You're the girl from the gas station. Oh yeah, that's the guy! That's the guy without the eyes! Nice! Hey, Chef Torte, thank you for the- thank you for the super chat. Now that I think about it, can sick, toxic sona shiver? You know, being all gelatinous and stuff? Yes, they can. Um... 
I didn't think I didn't think anyone would stop for me here. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I'm not a mechanic. I'm a 19 year old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. I don't know how to fix cars. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in! Thanks so much. Could you, could you wait until I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay! Phil, turn up the gl the graphics, please. No, I kind of like the I kind of like the shitty graphics. Kind of goes with the style, in my opinion. All right, gotta get dog food. I kind of like I kind of like the shitty textures, to be honest. Throw the throw the dog food in there. Throw the bag in there. Shove it in there. Yeah, you can totally trust like a, a like a blind guy to take you on a drive. Absolutely no problem with this. I'm sure this man is nice. And rip. And last thing. To be fucking honest, why why are you even getting these things? Could you couldn't you just like call for help and then get the stuff when you're like There we go. Can you help me get my stuff? <laughs> okay, just get get in the get in the car. It's not safe to get out here. Okay. Well, I think I put everything that I needed. Do I need anything else? I couldn't drive leaving my stuff behind. Oh, there's like... There's like a fucking skateboard. We got a fucking... We got a baseball cap. Look at my 19-year-old girl ass fucking moving this shit around. My Twitch simps should be doing this for me. Hey guys, so like I got stuck in like the middle of the woods and like I'm gonna get into like this truck with this like weird guy that doesn't have any eyes. Hope everything goes well for me, teehee. Need to hurry up, I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, no hop on him, be quick. Of course she has a skateboard. Yeah, this guy seems trustworthy. Got some tunes, or... Can I put my mixtape? Oh! So, you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? Uh... I live really close from here! I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Typical dad. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Oh. Uh, nice to meet you, Jason. So... Do you know about Ben the and the Ink Machine? Oh. You're really lucky to be- I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. What's that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Well, I mean, I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad, so, you know, it... You know, like... You know, like it's pretty old, you know? It's like ancient. He's a boomer, you know? Not like not like me. I'm a, I'm a cool... I'm, I'm a cool, like... 
Gen Seer, you know? Like, I, I'm, I'm on top of all the trends. <sighs> so what do you think you, about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, you know, like, I was on... I was listening to... I, I was listening to some, like, YouTube shorts, so, like, I didn't really listen a word of it. Interesting. That idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and they don't bother, and they don't, and you don't be bothered. Sounds good. So, have you played Valorant? Do you know about League of Legends? Oh, you know, I'm being a jerk. I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before, but I, I, I'm, I'm just not the best with people, you know. Yep. Twelve AM. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered a roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. Yeesh, that's cringe, bruh. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal need a room to snack up for the night? I don't like that. I don't like that term. I don't like that term at all. Uh, I'm gonna only be here for a few hours. 40 for a single. Pay cash only. Fuck, do I have enough cash, actually? Oh, there we go. Room 9. Right over there. Talk about the car? $90! Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. I don't know who Tommy is, but he doesn't seem very respectable. But it's what we got, so whatever. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to him. Okay! What is that ripped up newspaper in the on the window? Ah! Oh! Not approved for occupancy. Get the fuck out of this murder motel, please. Oh. Fuck. Um uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, can we just, maybe we can just hotwire a car and get the fuck out of here. That don't be very trustworthy. Oh, mom! Oh, I got connection, but that's very good. Dad. What, what do you mean reroute? Dad, I may not have to, I may have to start by a motel tonight. Holly? Uh, I can't actually type the messages in, but... I guess we'll just continue with the story as we progress through this. Oh, that looks like a murder shack right there. Holy fuck. That, that's... This ain't a good hotel, man. I got delivered to the fucking slaughterhouse. 
can't really do anything about it, so let's just hope that it was nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old houses and anime conventions. There's not a fucking mattress in my motel?! I can't lock the door. What do you mean I don't have a mattress? Oh, shit! Can you just watch the entirety? What the fuck? You can just watch this? This copyrighted by Paramount. What the fuck? Ooh, nice. I'm not gonna watch this. I might get fucking copyrighted by Paramount. Couldn't have slept there. No wonder. Oh, I can just hide here. Kind of. Oh! Oh no, it picks up your microphone? Oh! There's a noise meter in here. That's nice. There it is. Ah! 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 You fucking asshole. What are you doing in my hotel room? What are you doing here? <laughs> I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. Okay. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the hotel front desk gave me this room. <laughs> okay, these people definitely want to murder in my murder me in my sleep. Okay, I got it, 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 got it. I'm just gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Get your 19 year old ass out of there. Where even is my... my stuff? Red fucking flag. Red crimson fucking flag, my dude. Oh, I, I love that it remembers that I got the dog food. Really needed me some energy soda. Oh, nice! Consuming these will increase your sprint speed! I'm gonna need this shit! <laughs> gonna get that fucking sugar! What about this one? Wasn't feeling it. You just drank like three of them. What are you talking about? Let me go fucking get this shit. Oh my god, I go fast! It's gonna be nice. Surely I'm gonna be able to run away from the serial killer. Oh hey, he made my bed. Nice. Just throw that shit in there. Oh! Follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, follow me, 
set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. Okay, there we go. Is it that every time I'm like in this pavement, like my, oh yeah, my walking speed decreases. That's kind of lame. I wish that it would just stack permanently. You can carry two things at once. Thank you. I didn't even think of that. Also, these are just fucking floating in midair. <laughs> only ta only had two hands. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow the rainbow. Na 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 only one way to find out just keep on moving ahead not time but that it that I find that that bear all right got my shit I'll get the fuck out of my room how to war with Joe about the situation the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, oh, merci, merci, merci. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But you have a good night. Oh! Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go sleep. Oh god, I can actually like look through the blinds as well. I'm gonna sleep on top of the pile of stuff. Yeah. Ah! Get the fuck out of here! I saw- uh, uh, I saw that! Call it foresight, but something wasn't feeling right. Yeah? The feeling of tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. I- a hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. I don't think the toilet loaded. Oh no, there's the toilet. Why is this just floating in here? What is that? Oh, this is like a bathtub that didn't load in. Hilarious. Where's the bathtub? Ah. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Was he still there? Soda can, meat snack, nuts, chocolate, refreshing soda, bubble can, carrot drink, carrot drink, milk chocolate, chocolate candies, grapefruit. Oh, there is no coffee. Yo, bitch, where can I get some coffee around here? Right over there, room 9. It is. I know, that was hours ago. Why do you have the picture of a girl in, like, every single one of your rooms? Where do I get the coffee? I, I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just get something, like... Lime drink. Energy soda might be good. Mm -hmm. 
And also maybe a chocolate bar. With nuts. Okay. Go back to my room. Let me just go hide in my closet right now. Nope, we good. I don't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Shit, girl really wants coffee. Did it need it? Did it need pills? I can't really make coffee on the toilet and there's like an invisible bathtub over here. Superman. Where do you get coffee at a motel? Like, that's the real question. There we go, there's coffee. That's a really creepy fucking building, dude. Espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla, not available! Hot chocolate with milk not available! Fuck! I guess I'll get a cappuccino. 19 year old college girls can survive without their coffee. She drank like 20 sodas. Girl, you're caffeinated out of your mind. Oh, they put some... They put some shit in the fucking... They put some shit in the coffee. They put some shit in the fucking coffee. No! Oh! Go to bed. Ugh. Three eighteen AM. I was sedated. Fuck. Maybe it was just really bad coffee. You don't know. Maybe the beans were there for like a very long time. Someone got inside the closet. I didn't feel safe going out. Bitch, there's someone in your closet!
Dominate! Oh! <laughs> okay. Hey, Shy Mike, thank you for the 10 gifted. Nice. I literally can't do anything else. Thank you for the two dollars. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to open that, aren't aren't I? Oh no, no, no. We can we can we can wash our face in here. That's good. Thank you, Slend the Hedgehog, for the two euro. We're gonna wash our face, it's fine. Still not good. What the fuck else is gonna happen if we open up that closet door except just getting jump scared? Now we're dead. There's nothing else we can do. Oh fuck. Do not open the door. <sighs> ah! Fucking hell. I fucking saw someone going in there. Why did I do that? Fucking hell. I didn't know if I should choose the door or that. Fuck. Auto saved. <laughs> Thank you. I've seen the closet mechanic in another game, but I can't remember which one. <laughs> Thank you, Purple Shutin. Okay, we can we can skip all this shit and just go back to our hotel room. How much is farther than room? Forty for a single. Pay, no problem. <laughs> Was that dude naked? Yup. Yeah, he was! I guess sometimes the answer is not to run away and hide. Especially if you already- if you already saw that a guy was there in the first place. I'm kind of stupid now that I think about it. I just didn't really know what to do. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Where are you at? Your diet's calling me. Holly? Why didn't she answer that? Anyways, yo, bitch! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, you have a really creepy smile. I'm gonna go get my stuff. Please wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff, okay. Bitch ass, he was naked. Bitch ass was naked. Bitch ass was naked, you fucking creepo! Creepo! Parasocial! My fucking skateboard. Really needed me some energy soda. Alright, I'll get one. I'll get one! You caffeine fiend! Caffeined! Throw it in there. Wait, the faces weren't loading? Yeah. Like, I put it at low settings, but I think the, the, the game, like, loaded them back up after, like, I went back to the menu. Yeah, like, the textures are way better now. For good boys and girls, Pat Pat. Get in there. Is there limited money? No, I think it's literally unlimited. We're a 19 year old college girl that went into an anime and gaming convention. We have unlimited money. And I'll get the fuck out of here. I know, you're gonna fucking. You're gonna roofie me. Fuck you. Ah! Get, get your fucking creepy ass out of here. Yep. 
That is certainly a thing. I'm fucking watching you, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm watching you, motherfucker! I call it foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't right! Oh my god, I'm getting fucking trapped! Time to go get that coffee. Hey, I saw that! Did he mess with my coffee? Okay, now get an espresso. Espresso girls survive. Cappuccino girls go to die. Maybe this one won't be laced with a drug. You know, every time that you want to go to bed, just get some coffee. I'm sure that'll be nice. I'm sure that'll help you. What the fuck? Are you fucking so fucking fuck? Yeah, they're all laced. That's just like the the roofy coffee machine, you know? They got it set up so like any button you choose, you get the coffee op you get the roofy option with the coffee. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Just be confident and open the door, idiot. That is so fucking creepy. There's no one at the door right now. Wash your face. Didn't feel safe going out. Did the bathroom- <gasps> The bathroom loaded in! Nice! Good bathroom. Get a knife. Do I just need to wait until, like, they start knocking on the door? How did I trigger the door before? Because, like, I certainly am not gonna go back to that shit. Oh, I'm guessing I'm just gonna go back to sleep. That was a random event. This time the phone didn't ring. Just sleep, dude. I'm trying. There we go. Okay. 
Who is there? That's the motel owner. Should I just open the door or should I ask who is it? Ask first. Joe from front desk, open the door. Uh. <laughs> Hello, Susie Bell. Thank you for the 10 months. You are fathoming their fears. We're fathoming super hard right now. Well, I know that if I. If I know that if I go back, I will just die, so just. At least he was being honest. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is, is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. <gasps> but it's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. D dude, follow me. I hate my job! Okay, okay. Joe is good. Joe's a good one. Joe's a good one. We- we're trusting Joe. Ride or die with Joe. Ride or die. He's a creepy fellow, but like, he's a good fellow. He a good fella and a smart fella. He a fart smeller. Ah, fuck. I can explain. Ah. Uh, for some reason, his demeanor completely changed. Go back to the room. Uh. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. Okay, well, maybe he's not that nice. Okay! Did you see that fucking head turn around? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Okay, maybe Joe is not ride or die. Maybe Joe is like a bit... A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like... Is that motherfucker still in my closet? No, he left. Okay, so that motherfucker left my closet. That's good. Should I take the pills? Fuck it. Requires water. Why in the ever-living fuck would I take random-ass pills in a motel room? Are you fuck- Girl! Girl! Oh, oh, sh fuck.
I didn't want to, but I had to. Last dono of the stream. Bye bye. <laughs> now, Phil, I'm just shooting ideas, but how about a Fi Pillow pet for merch? You fucking assholes. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Buckcat Slayer, for the 15 and months. Thank you, Purple Max, for the $30. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. I know you're in there. The fathom is fear inducing. Check on dad. Please leave! I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. I... I please go away or I'm gonna call the cops. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager in 
preferred not to get the police involved as it would affect the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I would always take airplanes. This story was sponsored by Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines, where you will always be safe. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Thank you, Joe. Oh, fuck. That was pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a good one. Fuck. Joe the hero man. Joe was like kind of a piece of shit because like he uh, prioritized the business over the safety of the people. But you know what? He came through at the end. Very nice. Thank you, Buckcat Slayer, for the 15 months. And thank you, Comrade Jux, for the $2. And thank you, Purple Max, for the 30. Okay! Norwood Hitchhike is over. Which means we have... Two more episodes left. God, this, this fucking series is good. I think I'm getting a bit stuck on the puzzles because, like, I don't know when I need to be in hiding mode. And I don't know when I need to be in... In, like, actual exploration mode. But that was good. That was fucking good. That's fucking creepy as shit. It's not a monster in the woods. It's like an actual person being like the creepiest creepo to ever creep around in Crip City. Crip City. Jesus fuck. Alright. Now, we're gonna go with Fierce to Fathom Episode 3, Carson House. Oh! My boy Joe came through in the end. He was a little bit shaky, but he came through in the end. That's very good. All right. Let me open up this. Fierce to Fathom, episode three. Carson House. Let's lower down the settings a little bit. Yeah, put it to medium. There we go. Hey, Purple Max, thank you for the $2. I could have dono during that. You got lucky. Bitch! Get fucked. But also, thank you for the $30, though. That's a loud fucking donation sound, Jesus. Alright. An episode of horror, Fears to Fathom. You're playing episode 3. More episodes are coming soon. Episode playtime, around one hour. So we got Carson House and Iron Bar Lookout to finish. And then the fifth episode will release sometime in the future. Honestly, like... I'm in love, like, already. We only did two episodes, and, like, the second episode is so much better than the first one already. Let's see what the third episode has in store for us. New game. Fears to Fathom, Episode 3. Carson House. Episode 20, I mean, September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. The time where all the fucking young adults make some stupid, stupid fucking mistakes. Oh boy. But I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. This was 10 years ago from when it happened. Okay. Stupid age moment, go. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days. 
and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me that he would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer, as I had nothing interesting going on for that weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my money came from. My dad drove me to the house. <gasps> now look at that! That's some cool rain effects! Okay, fucking jumping up in quality immediately. Got it, my man. I guess episodic horror, like, helps developers, like, improve their craft as they go along in the game. Can I get some fizz? No, this guy is not a fan of caffeinated drinks. He's not gonna get roofied. That's very nice. No toilet. Statesman. That's fucking ominous. Neat. Oh! Hey, da lad. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, Phil. Could you make donos a little louder? <laughs> also, I still read comments into a parasitic. What the fuck is this place? Uh, thank you, the lad. Uh, I think I will make them slightly louder, but I don't want to make them like... I, I don't want them to get annoying for the people watching, you know, especially on the VOD. We're definitely on a dream right now. What? This is... Hello? Bleach? Excuse me? Where did you put it? Who are you? Where is Bleach? I need Bleach. I don't even know what you're talking about. I SAID I NEED BLEACH! Oh, okay. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up. 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 Okay. That was a weird bleach stream. You still think you can do this? Oh. Well, I got this, Dad. Don't worry. Roy called in. Said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. Heard you the first time. Dad! Okay, now get your ass to work. Hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. Dad, I got my math home notebook. I'm gonna do math. It was a nice neighborhood. Had to get the key from the backyard. Yo, bitch. I mean, it looks like a... It looks nice, but I'm not a fan of American suburbs. They're like way too samey. It feels like I'm in a weird fucking nightmare location. Gotta get it in the rock from the backyard. I prefer work when communities are not, like, isolated, because, like, suburbs are, like... The fact that you need a car to get out and do anything. Boy! <gasps> boy! Hello! Hello there, boy! Are you going... You're, you're doing all right. You seem very pampered. You got a bone and you got a toy. <gasps> Hello! Pet. 
Yeah! Nice boy, nice boy, nice boy, nice boy. Very good, very good doggy. You wanna, you wanna play, you wanna play catch? I don't think he is interested in the, in the, in the catch disc. Fair enough, really. Now, where is the rock? You know where the rock is, boy? He does not know. The fake rock was by the old doghouse. Boy, 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 boy. Fake rock with a key on it. Yeah. Hopefully that dog turns out all right. Speaking of, sp uh, by the way, he said snacks, so... Where do I get some snacks? Just like the first episode. Hey, there's cameras. Nice. Gotta make sure that I can lock up the front doors. This is not the front door, that's the bathroom. I'm sure everything's gonna turn out all right. I really had to pee. Okay, yeah, 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 fine, fine. Let me shut up and let me go in there. Piss. Yeah! Just straight on the edge. Oh, yo, oh, that's disgusting. Oh, you, you didn't even aim. Oh, ew, ew. Dude, you're fucking you're a shitty housekeeper. Already fucked it up. That is an unknown phone number. Oh shit, Evelyn Cooper. Evelyn Cooper says, This school's full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you're either, smiley face. Ooh, they, they, they got something going on in there. Don't worry, don't worry, uh, Mr. Carson, don't worry, like, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just reading my friend's messages. Evelyn Cooper. They're getting, they're getting something going on. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too, sad face. Things you do to keep your old man happy. Fuck, come on, Carson. Just let me, let me, let, 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 let me, let me read the text from my bitch, come on. Ugh, it's resetting every time, God damn it. Okay. I think, I think that's it, okay. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. Ruffle! Just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Fuck, Carson! There we go. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you? That bitch, that bitch call you again? I just can't help but still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyway, you've got some making up to do here. Ah, oh, the grudge next weekend. Wink, wink. A hundred percent. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Smiley face, love, love heart. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. This little baby. Oh, good cat. I'm je I'm honestly jealous of Ava Raffle. I know, right? I just had the weirdest dream ever. Okay. Look at a little cat. Alright, Noah's gonna get some after tonight. Also, Roy Carson called in and rudely interrupted me. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha <laughs> ha! He's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Seek. Seek? 
Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him. And the house, now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you that it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. The basement? Nice! Right on in! I'm sure nothing bad will go wrong in the basement of an old creepy guy's house. That is fucking terrifying! The basement was a little too dark. Oh, great! Great! That's nice! I almost forgot, I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem! Smiley face! Get the fuck out of there! Storage room upstairs. Fucking give me a fucking break. Where the hell are the stairs to the upstairs? Fucking. There we go. I don't know how fucking American buildings work. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Yep. They definitely improved that budget. Anyone looking out? On the outside? Nor. Riss up Roy Carlson. Bitch, we already got a bitch that we are talking about. Don't be unfaithful. Carlson may have money, but you gotta have standards, you know what I mean? Gotta be faithful to your bitch. She seems like a nice gal. Mr. Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. For some reason, his clothing glowed in the dark. Flickered in the dark, actually. We already got a hoe. We don't need the Carson dick. Carson dick is unavailable at the moment. Couldn't open it from here. It's kind of reminds me of, like, the Baker House from Resident Evil 7, actually. Weird extender cord. Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. That's true. That's true, my man. Hmm. Alright, this is not the storage room. This is the washing room. Why do I need that? What? Why did that happen? What? The bar happened for like a second. <gasps> Oh, motherfucker. Okay, got it, 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 got it. So we're gonna have to hide here eventually. Kind of an interface spoiler if you think about it, but... Fair is fair. Pretty programmed like the closet one. Storage room, there should be a flashlight around here. This is a shitty flashlight. It's a really shitty flashlight. The game considers that a hiding spot. What the hell's going on out here? What was Carson's job again? Is he a YouTuber? He just filmed an apology video. Do not disturb for any reason. Jeez, man. Well, now that I know that we will have to hide in there eventually, that means that 
We there's not gonna be any any bad bad stuff down in the basement, right? Right? We just need to find the dog food and get the fuck out of here. Where is the dog food? Ryan? Bubba. Dog food. Oh, so just... Grab... Grab... Grab it. It's right there. Mulch. Oh. I guess not that specific... Dog food? Maybe we need a tray or something? Bubba. You need to find a different kind of bag, f dog food bag. I mean, this place is fairly small. Oh, there we go. I needed the can. I didn't need the. I needed the. Need, didn't need the bag. Got it. Yo, boy, seek. You want some food, buddy? I had to open the can. Fuck. Close the door. Uh, can opener. Yeah, can open a mini game. Keep the flashlight just in case. Actually, yeah, you keep the flashlight just in case. It feels like an important item. There you go, buddy. You're gonna be a good boy? Good boy? Yeah! Yeah, good boy. Very nice. Maybe now I can do my math homework. Hey, kid. From Walter. You're a computer whiz, right? You're one of them... You're one of them... You're one of the millennials, right? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, you got a whole security system up in here? I mean, uh, yeah. I have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll take a look at the computer, Mr. Man. He's rissing up the Carlson. Thanks, kid. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad, right? He's an old man. He's probably like... He probably just wants, like... He needs to, like, update the drivers or something. Let's see. I remember I was doing calculus last night. Oh. Ale Carson 5387. 5387. Ah, shit. What was the password again? Five, three, eight, seven. Wait, no, I literally typed it right. Ale Carson, five, three, eight, seven. What? Am I stupid? Five, three, eight, seven. Oh, there's uh, the, the opera case at the start. Ale Carson. 
5387. There we go. Welcome. This window Windows fucking XP ass computer. CD burner, egg.exe, internet browser, inet7, recycling bin. Ooh, there is something in the recycling bin actually. Guide to being a and test one. Guide to being a better person. Ooh. Talk and talk. Directed by Alec Carson. He is a YouTuber. <laughs> In this video, feel free to take a break whenever needed. Step t step one. Don't be rude. Oh. Being rude will the school. Oh. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Yay! Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret to being calm is not to let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. <laughs> okay. I guess Carson is an analog horror creator. He would be pretty successful, actually, in the modern internet. He was ahead of his time. Guess the flag, .exe. A, the system has encountered a critical error. Sheen. Search.com. Free trial for limited period. Protect your computer as if it was one of your own. Antivirus 96. Your children catch colds, your computer catches viruses. Get full protection. Nope. Let's get egg.exe. This computer definitely has a virus in it, doesn't it? Yup. Yup, this... This computer had some fucking malware installed in it. Fucking Carson, you old man. Alright, well, get the full protection then. Fix, clean, and speed up your PC. Virus protection, malware protection, threat defense, and PC tools. Protect your system with an effective antivirus solution. Up-to-date virus definition. This is literally a soft tonic fake download link that if you click on it, you'll get a virus. Downloading antivirus 96.exe. Hey, Assy, how you doing? Oh. Welcome to antivirus 96. Perform a full scan. This is actually surprisingly faithful for, like, how bare bones it is. Okay, we got one virus. Haha, -ha, one! One! Trojan OS, OS, S, OS, C, E. Threats not removed. Remove! Doing Don Cooking Art. Fuck yeah! Hopefully I can retweet it. You're protected. Virus definition, definition up to date. Malware protection on and firewall on. We got that shit on lockdown, boys. Now we can open up the web. Oh! I see. I see what this is about.
Yup. Evil found the way again, Phil! This is really good looking, though. Oh, fuck that. That looks actually really cool. The dog is eating! Fuck me, that actually looks really good. Oh, you can even, like, see the cameras on the other monitors? That's... That's fucking cool. Shit. Oh, Evelyn Cooper. Um... Uh... It's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Thank you. Uh, ooh, what was it about? Weird. Reminds me of a cooking with Joffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. That place got a TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I would like to stay here, actually, and... Play, like, guess the flag. <gasps> Which country is this flag? Shit. Uh... Armenia? Ah. Uh... Okay. Oh, come on! Uh... Okay, so it's not Mexico. The fuck is Mozambique? I know it. Swaziland? Uh, Mozambique? Togo. Okay, fucking hell. Oh, that, 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 that fucking, fucking, obviously Canada. You got that right! Uh Okay, got it. Yay. Uh Belarus? No. Benin? That sounds like a funny name. Ah, that was my first fucking guess! Okay, that's obviously Cuba. Duh. I mean... Singapore? Come on. That's... that's too hard, man. Uh... I don't know, Guyana. Obviously Canada. The Djibouti? Ah! <laughs> Not the Djibouti. Holy shit. Um. Uh, Burundi. Yeah! I knew it. I knew that. I knew that. Guinea? Fuck. I don't even know what the Mozambique is. I thought that was like a gun from, like, Apex Legends. I'm pretty sure this is... Czechoslovakia? Yeah! <laughs> I, don't, I, don't fucking, I don't fucking know. Bangladesh. Fuck! That was Ukraine. Malawi. <sighs> now that's the Netherlands. Uh, dude, I don't know. Fucking Omen? Yeah! Guyana. No, Uganda. Ah! Gotta go with my gut. Ukraine. 
That's obviously... Uh, Uruguay? Yes. Moldova. Fuck, fuck it. Guatem Guatemala. Shit. Barbados? No. Mongolia. Yeah. Vietnam? No. Fucking Paraguay. No. Chad! God damn it. Green. No. No. Latvia. Yeah. Uh, da 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 Brunei No Uh South Africa's not a country What Uh Is it Ah uh, god damn it I'm I'm done with this Fuck this shit Fuck that shit <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> South Africa is a country. What? I thought it was like South America. That was like a region of Africa. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Egg.exe. The program can't start because something something is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program and fixing this problem. Okay, that was a that was a good fun fun funny time This looks really good Like the the post-processing and like the the ambient occlusion makes this look really fucking good in my opinion Okay, let's actually fucking go and see like the weird fucking cooking show with our girlfriend Get the fuck up there. Fucking geography. Got a flashlight. I don't think- I don't think this flashlight is gonna serve me much. Gotta be honest. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What is your girlfriend into, dude? I love to be cat food. Cat food? My favorite dish. It's super enjoyable and healthy. It's my favorite That's dish. Haha. <laughs> we can eat this. Oh, you got one of those girlfriends, don't you? So first, we are going to gently pour the cat food. It's one of those bitches. Oh, it's one of those bitches. Noah, Noah, Noah. Noah. Buddy, you're 18. I know you got a lot ahead of you. But I just, I just gotta tell you, man. Don't stick your dick in crazy, man. Jeffrey just really be Jeffrey sometimes. Yeah, no. No, 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 man. Nah, man. This bitch probably watches murder documentaries on YouTube. That was an epic Jeffrey moment. Uh... Jesus Christ. Um... Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Oh, shit. Ranch, strawberry jelly, choco spread for Alec. I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Don't have hands? Octojoker chatted $2. Fail, fail, geo geography at two, it seems. <sighs> 
Maybe you should do a Sarah stream, since your geography sucks. We'll see. I don't even know what that is, James, but thank you for the $5. Don't be creepy, man. So much hands. Hands. No, but you're missing the best part! Sorry, Eve. Gotta run. This dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. I love how honest this is, by the way. Yeah, like, fucking stupid teenagers. Like, being super nice to the adults and, like, fucking shit-talking them with their girlfriends. Is that Joy Drew? Anyways, we need to go. Am I just gonna, like, walk out to get groceries? Where's the grocery store? This is like some weird alternate universe where analog horror is the norm. She's definitely into into those like DHMIS or like the Amazing Digital Circus. Based, honestly. I really couldn't, couldn't just leave like that. Oh. How do I go get some milk then? The money fell. Oh yeah, right, I'm stupid. I actually need the money. The money. I forgot about the money. Where the money at? Oh my god, it's still going. Oh, <gasps> look, he took a picture of the dog. I'm the hand merchant. Buy some hands. Cats. Daily news. Breaking news. On the nightstand. Gotta go to his room. What? Hello. No. We ain't doing that shit tonight. Where the fuck is the nightstand? No, that's not- that's not money! Ew, no! Get the fuck out- get the fuck out of there. Why do you have that on your fucking nightstand? Am I stupid? There's some cash in my nightstand. There we go. Money! Let's go get those groceries. Hmm? For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you! Going out with my flashlight. Atmosphere is thick tonight. You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. <laughs> okay. Where is the bike? Bike. 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 Stop doing that. Bike. Bike. Bike! Oh shit, we can control the bike. Nice. Ah! I don't know how to fucking ride a bike. Ah! 
Hey, Ashes, how you doing? Just playing Fierce to Fathom, and this, this fucking shit is awesome, honestly, like... Is super fucking entertaining. Gotta get those groceries, boy. I'll park it, like, somewhere around, like, right over fucking here. I don't give a shit. Yeah, just leave it there. Hello! You seem nice. Hi! You doing good? Doing good, you? Doing good. Use a shopping basket. There we go. Now, what are the items that this guy wants? Ranch? Uh... Choco spread, milk and eggs, garden peas, honey, rice, ketchup. Don't forget milk and eggs. Okay, uh, we're gonna go fucking... Ugh! And speak of the devil! Stop staring at my tits! Turner and Andy? What are you guys doing here? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh yeah, he hopped to that all the chicks so quick I didn't even realize. Jesus! Don't you listen to him, dude. But dude, she bought tons of tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Oh, these guys are assholes. MILF energy, bro! <laughs> Ew! I think she's more like a goth. Goth MILF energy! <sighs> when will you grow up, Turner? Anyway, dude, what are you up to tonight? Nothing. Just chillin'. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house sit for this guy called Carson tonight. You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kids are real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. <sighs> this feels like foreshadowing. Uh... Whatever fills your pocket, I'm in for. Alright, dude! See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Andy. Andy seems like a cool dude. Sorry for the basket. Yo, bitch. Uh... Yep. Oh! Hey, son, do you work around here? No? Ha, huh, okay, son. What is it? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Hold on, let me get it for you. I think they're out of mustard. Oh, isn't that right? No wonder I couldn't find it. HA! Thank you, son. I may have just lied to this old lady for no reason. But I'm not gonna get that shit for her that, like, I'm all- I'm already- I'm already, like, with my hands full right now. Alright, got- Choco spread? What's a choco spread? Okay, get ranch. Get ketchup. Oh, 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 oh! No! Get in, get in there, get in there, there you go. Um... Strawberry jelly. Choco spread. Milk and eggs, garden peas, honey, rice, ketchup. Don't forget milk and eggs. Uh, milk and eggs. Okay, so that's the milk. Milk. Eggs should be here. 
I'm fucking have to balance this shit. Garden peas. Where are the garden? Oh! Oh! Don't tip that over, son. No, 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 no. Son, son. Gotta have balance. Where the fuck are the peas? Also, I should probably get rice. Oh, I'm gonna get a soda for myself. There we go. And... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. That guy dropped the soda. Gar the garden pea should be like around here, right? Am I overthinking this? Got the mulk. Granolis, choco cops. Oh, there should be. Okay, those. Those should be the peas. And gotta get the honey. What is that? A can of beans, bitch. I'm fuck. I'm fucking shopping here. Give me a break. Come on. Okay, that's the milk. Juice. I'll probably get some juice from. My oh, I don't remember buying anything from Mr. Carson. Didn't ask for. Okay. Well, I got the soda. Uh. Thank you. Hey, shark, shark jumping. Thank you for the one membership. Where do you get the rice? Okay. Can I just put my stuff here? Should I build this for you? No. Wait. I didn't get all the items first. So you have to get them. Okay, I got some ramen. And some milk. Oh, 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 oh! Don't forget the milk and eggs. Where do you get the rice in here? Got some chillips. You know, fucking just get one of everything, really. Yeah, just get everything. Just get everything. Just fucking... Oh my god, I have so much! Uh, where's the honey? Yo, bitch has got some honey over here. Oh, oh, oh! There we go, yeah, yeah. Yep, uh... Yeah, we got... Oh, yeah, we got that! Uh... <laughs> I think this is the honey? No. Get some alcohol, fuck it. Clean dish. Uncle Tony's. I think I barely... Oh, there's the rice! And get some of this, and get some of that. And get some of this, and get some of that. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> get some of that, get some of this, get some of that, get some of that, get some of this. <laughs> Purple Max donates $2. It says, Phil's coming with the milk, unlike your father. Oh yeah, and I, I'm coming in with a lot more than that, buddy. Okay, okay. I think... I think I'm good. I can't even see you! <laughs> Wait! Wait, does that mean that I, ha I bought too much? Oh no. Hold on. Just fuck it, just run out- run out the door. You know you usually pay for that here. <laughs> good, run! Run! You can do it, Tommy! Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. Should I bail you for that? Still missing! Hold on. Oh, I, I completely fucked this up. I completely fucked this up. I, I completely fucked this up. I can't even buy groceries! Okay. Okay. Hold on. Ketchup. Get the ranch. And... Get the beans. And... Uh... Uh... I think that's the rice? Shit. I need to start over! 
Get a new one. Okay, okay, we're gonna do it We're gonna do it right this time, boys. I need to get the ranch. And the ketchup. Just put it in there. And... I need to get strawberry jelly. And the chocolate spread. And... Then I need to get the garden peas. I think the garden peas were like around there. Yeah, that's the garden peas. And I know the rice is around here somewhere. Fucking turning into fucking shopping simulator. Good. Wait, no. Uncle Tony's only. He only wants Uncle Tony's. Okay. And get the get the eggs. And get the milk. And... Where's the honey? Okay, maybe this is enough. Ah, oh, still missing some things. I need to get the milk in a proper place, because... Oh my god, ah! Oh. Okay. Where do you usually find milk? Is this- is this the honey? I think this might be the honey. Shit. Was that not the honey? No, I, get, I, th I think that's the honey. Yeah! Yeah! There we go! I completed basic groceries! Yes, please! Thanks for the shopping at Nux! You have a good one! You have a good time cleaning up this mess, motherfucker! Yay! <laughs> I fucked it up. I fucked it up super hard. I don't give a shit. They get paid to clean that. That's what- that's- you know, I, I was teaching Noah a lesson about being an adult. Sometimes you get a- you have a little oopsie when you're buying groceries for dinner. We're proud of you for doing a basic task, Phil! Yay! I forgot which house it was. I had to pee again, and I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. And I still had a lot of schoolwork to catch up to. Ah! I got the groceries, I had to take care of the house now. Which house do I take care of? I think it's the one on the left, over there. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Eh. Get my nooks. I will leave these on the kitchen. Uh, put the juice in there. I thought I'd get some school work done now. Like I said, I had to get my school work done for Monday. Alright, well, he didn't specify juice, so I'm just gonna drink this juice. Yeah. Clean up on aisle you. Don't fucking tell me. Oh yeah, I have to go pee. This boy has a very sensitive bladder. Yeah, get it all straight in there. Hmm, bio juice. Is this like parasocial or something? No, it's a VHS horror series about uh, real horror stories that happened to real people that were written out in like, that were written out to the creator. It's actually a pretty good concept, like a pretty cool concept. 
All right, now we should go and check out the cameras. I like that it started to rain after I said that. Gotta go check those cameras, boy. That was a lot of messages all at once. Andy Reynolds. Dude. You said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet. Right now. Uh... Roy Carson divorce. Roy Ca Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of his ex-wife. Co-founder of BN Media has been allegedly receiving death threats after the very public divorce with his actress wife, Alyssa Brown Carson. <laughs> the, f the fucking lightning in between them. It's not unusual for audience to be noise nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson, has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within said relationship. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knock. You gotta be fucking shitting me! I like that it, it literally happened the moment, the moment that I read that. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir? You must be at the wrong address. This is 22 for Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson? Leave. Do not. Do not. No. Please open the door, sir. Leave! Leave! Ponty's Pizza. Yucking it up again. He's still there. Oh wait, he, has, he actually has a bag with him. Is the dog okay at least? The dog ain't there. Oh no, the dog is sleeping peacefully in the backyard, okay. Ah, oh, fine, I'll open up. It's just a guy, it's just a guy, like it's just a pizza. Maybe, maybe Carson, maybe Carson ordered the pizza for us as like a treat because we did his groceries maybe 
Maybe. Do you want me to cancel the order? Yes. Are you there, sir? Okay, you know what? Fine. Maybe Roy is being nice to us. What the fuck? Okay! What? Wait, what? 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 No, he's just fucking with me. He's just fucking with me. <laughs> Dude, stop. Stop fucking with me. Fucking ghost pizza delivery, man. He's there! Oh, that Jip fit got kicked. Ah! <laughs> you fucking asshole. Just give me that shit. <laughs> give me that. Give me that fucking shit. Thank you, Shulk Jumping. <sighs> hey, this is probably a very strange request, but... Do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. Ugh. I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. That- actually, that may not be a good idea to say. This is not my house is also not a bad- I'm just gonna say no. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Bye-bye. Wait, you had a car. Why are you asking that? Fucking weirdo. Alright. I thought I could watch some TV while eating. Don't eat the fucking weird pizza, dude. Don't eat the weird-ass pizza from the weird-ass pizza jump scare man. We already got spiked on the last episode. Oh! That's a nice TV program. Yeah, sure, I'll eat to that. Fuck it. What a nice... Is that a block of cheese? Roy Carson sends one messages. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Carson, you could have just told me that earlier, you fucking idiot. Jack. Huh? Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon to be done. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. I kind of want to order some pizza right now. Nom, 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 nom. My name is Jack Bardas. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work. So Why is this universe I just... Why do they... Do we just have analog horror on every single TV? Man. My dude eating an entire fucking pizza by himself. Evelyn Cooper, hope everything's okay. Good night, Noah. Sad face. Oh, sorry! Got caught up with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Heart face. Smiley face. You know... You know, originally when, like, I saw people, like, giving out, like, the emoji with the heart... I always thought it was, like, a cyclops doing a kitty face or something. I never thought it would- FUCKING SKIPPY TOILET! Shit. Oh my god, it's literally Skibbity Toilet. Oh, 
Noah must be fucking enthralled right now. This is peak cinema. Oh, he got fucking destroyed. Oh. Heard someone at the door again. I knew I heard a knock at the door. Who is it? Go to the cameras right now. Fuck this shit, I'm way too paranoid. Someone's at going at the back. I saw someone going at the back. For like a split second. Where's the dog? Is the dog okay? The dog is okay. Dog is sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. Pape is okay. The puppy is okay. Should I just... I don't know what to do. I'm fucking terrified. Go to the bathroom. Open in your... Uh... I'm gonna go hide real quick and see if like any- and that triggers anything. The dog is not barking. Okay, um... 
I don't think any more sequences will trigger. Until we do something. But I'm fucking terrified of actually opening the door. But no one seems to be at the house at the moment, which is... Nice to know. So, let's open the door and hopefully we don't get randomly jump-scared by a weird, creepy witch lady. Yeah, there's no way. of it. Parasocial. You need to log off. Dog is safe. Doggy is safe. Can we just go back to watching TV? Maybe? I need to finish that pizza. I thought I could watch some TV while eating. Yep, that's totally a good program to eat. Yum, 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 yum. That's such an appropriate fucking thing for the situation. Spooks. I just came back. What's going on? I have to say, that pizza was good. Oh, don't worry. We're just being broken into the our home by a weird creepy stalker nothing 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 out of the ordinary here just like your your normal Saturday night no problems oh hey how are you what did you have for dinner I assumed it was the wrong number. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and just moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Engrossment. <laughs> Engrossment. One thirty-six a.m. I was in the middle of schoolwork when the power went off. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Oh, that's our ex! Yeah, okay. That's fine. In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. Yeah, we did tell our buddies that we were in this house. I just knew guys like him very well. Besides, him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. Where the fuck did I leave my flashlight? Oh my god, where did I leave my flashlight? Chat! 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 
Chad, where did I leave my flashlight? I, I, I didn't think it was gonna actually end up being useful later. Chad, where I did, where did I leave my flashlight? Ch chat, chat, chat. Where you put that? Where the light at? In the bathroom downstairs. The house is barking. I mean, the the the, the dog is barking. <laughs> the house is barking. Shut the fuck up, Azazel. I love it when my house barks. Where did I leave my flashlight? Bathroom downstairs. Flashlight? Midnight piss? Yeah! Well, oh, he pisses a lot. I think it's in the kitchen. Dog, eh? It was suddenly very cold outside. Dog, eh? Dog, eh? What are you- what are, what are you barking at, dog, eh? Pet the dog, eh? Seek was acting very weird. Thank you, dog, eh? I turned the power back on. Thank you, dog, eh? I could tell that someone had cut off the power from the outside. Dog, eh? He help. I want to stay close to dog, eh? Dog, eh? Dog, eh's friend. That looks like a fucking figure. I know that it isn't, but that looks like a figure. Shit. Okay. Just, let's just go back. Let's just go back inside. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. You say we'd stay friend. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Bit, Dude, it's your ex. What are you talking about? Had to get back to my schoolwork. Why is the monitor red? Why is the monitor red?
Guess the country! This is the country of Yemen! Yay! This is the country of New Zealand! Yay! This is the country of Guatemala! Yay! This is the co the Colombia flag! Yay! This is the country of the Philippines! Yay! This is the country of St. Vincent and the- I don't know what the f- ah, I was on a streak there. Okay. Let's go back to our schoolwork. Engrossment. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Engrossment. 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 I heard something downstairs. <gasps> I could swear on my life I didn't even turn that oven on. Ah! That bitch. I have to go down and check. Fucking saw her. The X. What a bitch. Is that why you guys broke up? Because she's like a creepy bitch? Low-key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I had to confront him. I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. That's not- it's not your buddy, dude. It's not your funny- funny pal, bro. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude. Dude, he's at my place right now. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye out on the security monitor. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Uh, but at the time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the idea never entered my head.
She was right outside the room I was in. Oh! Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, bitch! I know everything. I know you left me for her. At least she's not a junkie like you. It's different. Th this is exactly why! But I love you! What more of- what about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance! You know, I could turn you into the police for this! Do it and I will f fucking kill both of you! Notification, you asshole! Damn it! Oh, that was good. <laughs> I can't resist the peer pressure. <laughs> good timing, Shy Mike. <laughs> Good fucking timing, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. We can do this again. We can do this again. We can do this better. Now we know that we just need to make a run for it. Jesus fucking Christ. That ex is a crazy bitch. Crazy bitch. <laughs> that timing, though. I had to make a run for it. Proceeds to chill out. I mean, I w I, 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 Can you really blame me? Crazy bitches, am I right? Why does Noah attract the crazy bitches? One is forcing him to, like, watch analog horrors with her on the TV. The other one wants to fucking stab him. <laughs> Engrossment. 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 The doggo!
heard something downstairs, had to go look. Engrossment. Alright, time to go back and do more engrossment. Man, the atmosphere? I know that I already know what I'm dealing with, but just the atmosphere of this game makes me uncomfortable, you know what I mean? It's fucking good. Fucking love this. In the moment, school, wor school work became the least of my worries. Quit messing, bro. Man, that bitch needs some help. This does kind of remind me of Parasocial now that I think about it. <laughs> hey, Melon Slice, thank you for the 15 months. Hey, Phil, how's the game? Amazing! The score, I think. Amazing! Fucking love this shit. Should have called the cops. But at the time, I was so engrossed on my own thoughts then. The idea never entered my head. Dude, he's at my place right now. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck at the sleepover. Wait, dude, did you check out the article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Yup. I froze as I kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Poor, poor horror. Hey, Phil, let's play hide and seek. I will hide and you will seek professional help. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. There she is! There's no, like, like, she's not a teleporting ghost. Like, she's gonna stay in there. What a bitch. She was right outside the door, the room I was in. Get the fuck up. Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. What do you want? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, bitch! It's different with her. But I love you. You need to leave right now. Fucking go. Run, 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 run. Oh. 
I left the house, ran down the block, called my dad, and called the cops! Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site? She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had a breakup with her. I told her, told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops that she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. Yeah, as if. I saw that shit in an alternate timeline. She's guilty. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and showed everything. From the point of entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed me messed with me the most was the, was the fact that... Nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Oh! <sighs> Also, the frame drops. God, of course it was a fucking dating site. I fucking love this game. A game by rail. Alright. Fucking get out of there, cause the... Cause the game is laggy as fuck. <laughs> she stole our frames. Alright. Time for... The final episode. I fucking love this game. Alright. Fears to Fathom 4. The Iron Bar Lookout. Ra Rail is real good at this. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Like, the mechanics are a bit iffy in some places, and like, I feel like some of the parts in this game could be streamlined a little bit more for a better experience, but overall... The atmosphere just fucking carries this game. Even when I- even after I died and all the tension was released from the chase, I still felt, like, unnerved by the situation and the, like, visuals of the game. Oh! There we go. Wow! He needs to improve the performance of this game at some points. We're gonna lower down the resolution of this. There we go. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4. Iron Bark Lookout. Uh, AOX donates uh, three Canadian dollars and says, I heard of this game before. Is it worth it? Dude, if you want a spooky time for Halloween, this game is, like, worth your money. Absolutely. Like, it's so- the, the concept itself is cool. It's basically the developer getting horror stories from the internet, like, messages and stories that people gave to him on the email right there, and he's using them to turn them into actual video games, like, short horror, like, experience video games. This is awesome! I love this concept! And, like, you could trim down some stuff, like, here and there, you can, like, uh adjust how some of the chase mechanics and some of the deaths work because like I think the weakest part of this game is when you actually die by a certain enemy but the atmosphere just absolutely carries this the 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 feeling of like isolation and danger and paranoia like it's just mwah, perfect hell yeah all right let's get into episode four you're playing episode four. Fifth episode is coming soon. Hell yeah. Fifth 
Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, The Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It's kind of weird telling anyone about this because, because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Okay. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in State Park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific nor nor Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and I liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Hey Chrissy, thank you for the three dollars. Great! Firewatch but horror! Always thought about doing this kind of thing. Looks peaceful. Have you guys seen... There was another Watchtower horror game. Hopefully this this will do the, the concept justice. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, the game is loading. Why is the car fucking glowing? Okay, there we go. Fucking pedal to the metal, boy. Don't read the messages while you drive. Just keep going. I'll read the messages later once we get to our location. Fucking glowstone car. I lived a very solitary life. It, keep, it helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. This feels like the indie game developer version of like, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Or like, Goosebumps. Like, just like, a developer making like, short games based on like, internet horror stories. I've always loved the great outdoors, just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. I'll respond to Kayla in a bit. I just have to like, don't fucking text and drive, idiot. Once I get out of here and I will get out of this car, I will read those text messages. Ramp. I don't even know where I'm gonna go, but like... Oh! I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Alright. Let me actually read now. Probably like park around here. <laughs> okay! Those diner people don't give a fuck. All right, let me read the texts. This is Mitch Scott and Kayla Nelson. Mitch Scott, congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to, just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower Eleven. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. 
Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. I just got my ID today. Hey there, Russian hey name? Phil. How is fears to fathom treating you? It's fucking awesome! We're at the last episode right now. We've done episode one, two, and three. I think we're... I think this might be the best one, according to people. Like, it's the most highly reviewed on Steam. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me about... Told me the job is not news to you. Can I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Ah, uh, not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill. Or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without a notice. Because they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron, How Iron Horse last year, not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. And I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Ironbark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. What is that supposed to mean? Where can I park my van? Oh, so you're arri so you're arriving on a Friday? Just park your truck around the back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek ta Trail. From there, you'll it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Okay. Uh, Kayla Nelson. This regional managers, manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up to with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. I wish my job was really as easy as that, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Hee <laughs> hee! Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me if you need to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, look at my ID. Ironbark? They're staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got a bigger staff with cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire out on me of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I remember there's a diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out! I could really use a good meal before the staff... the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Yay! She help! Look at this old ass 60s diner. Holy shit. Feels like a canned tuna. Welcome aboard. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? The music is way too fucking loud. Hold on. Turning that shit down slightly. Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Not too bad. Feel free to take any seat you'd like, and I'll be right with you. You look like you're enjoying your sandwich. Why you got a trench coat and a shovel? And a burlap sack? Mighty suspicious of you, sir. Aside from that, this diner seems pretty cool, though. I like to be alone. Can I look at the menu? The lady's coming to get me. Hello! Good evening! I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah! So what can I get for you? Oh, no, I'm Bulgarian. Thank you, weird Bulgarian name! For the super chat. Uh, so what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese with sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Cheeseburger! Haha! -ha! Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like to anything to drink? 
Give me a large Coke. Perfect. Anything else? Oh, that'll be all. I'll bring you the food at, out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Yep. I've always had this habit of peeping before eating. I mean, peeing before eating. Let's go piss ourselves. You have to piss yourself. Now! Same piss deck as the last episode. At least this guy washes his hands before leaving. Now that I think about it, Noah did not. What a weirdo. What's this guy doing there on the window? <laughs> Legit gunshots. Hey there, Singularity. Thank you for the nine months. Somehow watching this in VR smile. Don't get trapped in VR. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Hello, lady. Boogie, swig. Consume! I figured that I'd be here a while before... A bit a while before I had a meal like this again. Now the burger. I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Mmm, soda, mmm, and fries. Phil, C's. Man, Phil, you're such a comfort streamer. <sighs> Told you, haha. <laughs> Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great! Would you like to have anything else, or should I check out? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Why do you sound like the vacuum from... F from the fucking Teletubbies? It's fine, I got it from him. Uh, this food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Oh my god, yes! I'm on my way home. Ah! Here's a check. Your total is six dollars. That's cheap as fuck for nowadays. Fifteen percent tip. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thank you. On my way home. Send you in a bit. Question mark? Okay. Six dollars for that? Yeah, that seems pretty fair to me. It's a burger with fries and a shake. The economy. That's asshole. All right, time to leave. I like that the moment that we get in our in the driver's seat, our car starts glowing. Oh wait. Did I actually have to do something else? I kinda like zoned out a little bit. Hold on, what did I have to do again? Hold on. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Shut the fuck up, Noah! I mean, not Noah. What? What? What are you called? Uh. Jack. Shut the fuck up, Jack. Also, hooray! My favorite chapter. Fuck yeah.
For some reason, the visuals of this game remind me a lot of GTA San Andreas. Kind of has that like that PS2 vibe, if you know what I mean. A ticket to number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. My name is Alex. Hell yeah. Oh! Drove past the trailer first. Hell yeah, Alex. Welcome to the talk success bit. Ravender. I like that the developer lets you actually fucking drive these vehicles. Yo, bitches! I'm in! I remember Mitch said I was going to be on foot from here. Alright, well... I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna park right in here. Can I visit the other RV guy? Nope. There has to be someone in the lookout, though. Like, on, on in here, can we just, like, talk to them? No? Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Not cool. Not cool. Shit. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. Fuck. You scared me. May Lord have mercy. Anyway, can I see your permit, please? Ugh. You're Billy, Ryan. I'm the new transfer... Transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I can see a dude in the window in the back! I'm pointing at him! Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Fucking Billy. Dude, did you see the guy walking past you on the window? No? Use a bop! Use a bitch. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're tra- Staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season, but... Here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. <laughs> okay, you Mr. and Mr. Ghostman, Mr. Man. All right, let me fucking on foot from here on out. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Dude, just fucking face through the door. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now for our purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from our system just so we know you clocked in safely. Okay. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest con contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Huh? Hey. Just got a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that may that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty bit business. See you around. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Billy is the real threat. I left my bag in the RV at first. Uh, 
Oh, I need my bags. I need my bags. Hold on a second. Eh. Yeah. Where's my bags? Is shovel guy... Is this shovel guy or a guy in the woods or what? Dude, I have no idea. I may have to upgrade my CPU because this... Because this game takes a lot of CPU power. Hmm? Eleven thirty two PM. Ooh, look at the animations. Day after day after day after day after day we fly as the moon and the sun and we don't know why. Put it up. Iron Bark Tower Eleven. Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone, but I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Is it a shitter? That's the shitter. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Oh, that's a guy! Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. I'm stupid. The cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Fuck. Can I turn on the lights at least? Forgot to turn on the generator at first! Where the fuck is the the degenerator? Ah, oh, fuck, it's down there. Home! Now I need to make a weather call, I think it was called. Somewhere around here. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Oh my god, okay. Initializing ACZ. Starting Rainbow 98. User Tower 11. Apparently, I need a password. Check the Iron Bark Rules Flyer. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. I need to turn up the texture quality to be able to see that! Uh... Lights out after something something p.m. Supply drops are handled every 
Monday revolutionized to Gruex in the something. Computer password is... I literally cannot read this without fucking... Without turning off the texture. Ironbark... Ironbark tower number? Fuck! There you go. It was it was with a uh, without the uppercase at the start. Nearsighted simulator. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty uh, virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. Clicky click. Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It is estimated to be six million years old. What's on your mind today? Good evening, Tower Eleven. How's your day going? Okay. Employee training MP4. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Jesus fucking if Christ. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. Huh. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. I don't think so. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit my ass and here and sleep. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Okay. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. Fire so hot! also keep watch for smoke. <laughs> Make sure like to know this. what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before I'm they gonna spread I'm gonna drink and drive! Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science mm. nerds at the Panoramic what Preservation the Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Big. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. What? After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. Oh. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Oh. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which Green could man. lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. I need a gun. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. I'm in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck is 911 gonna do? Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Yay. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Yay. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. That's memorable. <laughs> that was kind of cute, actually. That was, that was very cute. Flash drive media. Cats.mp4? Fuck yeah, dude! Holy shit! Is this just a music video created by the developer? Yo!
Yo! This was not what I expected to find here. Huh. This is such a weird fucking style, I love it. Pet the kitty! Oh, kitty jump scare. Plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fuck that. Hi, everyone. <gasps> Bob, Ross. Bob Ross! And I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is Dream core feeling. Green. What? It reminds me of my wife. What? I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Yeah, this is dream core as fuck. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my... I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really uh, great painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This Yeah, is that's a tree, all right. Bodies. You know what? Look good here. A nice happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. My wife. Squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. <laughs> uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I love you, Bob. Oh, we actually have to fill out the form. Welcome to the State Art Service Report. Fuck! I was in the middle of talking with my smiley friend. Oh, I'm Jack. Wait. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Oh, yeah. Hello, Connor. Thought it was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. That's a ominous fucking message. So what is it? What? Your name? I'm Jack. Jack Wait, Nelson. What brings you to this towering paradise of ours? I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Carolyn, the temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it, thanks. Os 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 Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass the size of a pizza. How do I get a fire going? We use it to spot fire on the map. I don't see the smoke. Oh. Did you light it up yet? No. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Okay. What's what's the thing happening? What 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 up? What up? What up? What up? Stop doing the beeping. There's no firewood. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Oh god, the employee before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Let me guess, we don't have any gasoline. Oh, we do? Uh... Wooden stove. <laughs> Don't put it in there! There we go. Eh. No. Eh. Oh, there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That works. Does that work? Is that how you fucking do it? No. I need. I need. I need wood. <laughs> What? Is it okay to throw matches at the gasoline? Nor, nor. I need, I need firewood. It's a wood stove. You're gonna blow yourself up. Shit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hey, 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 Connor. Are you okay, Connor? I need help. Did you light it up yet? 
up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Yeah. Get her lit. Yeah. Okay. I need. I need. I need some wood. I need. I need to get some wood. Hold on. I'm gonna go find that wood. I mean, there's wood all around me. I don't think it's gonna be hard to find. Yeah, there's some wood. I'm wooden right now. Everything good all right over here, by the way? Like, no, nothing, no, 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 no bad things? No, 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 no horrible, bad, horrible, horrible, bad things with, like, bad connotations now? Good? Okay. Everybody, every, everybody good. Everybody good. Arson! Get back, right the fuck back in there. And now, gas it up. Just piss on it, really good. Like, just like that, yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, 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 the, the, my, my aim! There we go. Got it, Connor. I see the smoke. Fuck yeah. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Stop saying... Stop saying ominous things like that. Did you report for the night yet? No, you interrupted me while I was looking at my computer. But thank you, Connor. You're nice. Which episode is this? Four. No, let me let me get to it. You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Got it. Don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Okay, okay, fucking give me a fucking break, bitch. Holy shit. What is Plague.exe? Ooh. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies. Good blast! Good luck! Aim for the head. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh shit! I suck! Strife, motherfucker! The headboxes suck. Gaming. Dude. Oh my god. Didn't get, didn't get hit, didn't get hit. I know he said that I should report, but I'm having fun with this. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Doom Eternal music going on over here. Fuck. Grains. Grains. Can't believe they actually have a proper 3D minigame for this. Oh, there's so many though. Ah! <gasps> ah! That was fun. Consult. For information, type help. Available command information. C-H-Q-K-U-P-D. Checks for available system update. C-H-K-V-E-R. Checks for current version. Update install system update with package code. Exit closes the console. Thank you. 
current version 2.07. Okay. Uh... Do I need to actually check up on the temperatures going on? Like, I don't know what the wind speed and temperature are gonna be for this. Music. Yeah. Phil, my cousin, grandma, and roommate, and dog's brother are being treated for lick mesh cancer. Can you please say PENIS? There we go. Very funny. Peak humor. Alright, I don't fucking know the temperature. I don't know. 200 fucking Fahrenheit. Wind speed, 500 kilometers. Weather condition, uh, thunderstorm. Number of hikers assisted, 69. Reported by your mother. Something didn't look right. Ah, oh, shit. I actually have to, I actually have to do it. Okay. Let me go check on... How do I know the temperature, even? Do I need my, my, my tools? My camper tools. This is the Armbark State Park trail map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or just explore the park's beautiful from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. Thank you. Clickety-click. Uh, Jack Nelson, number of hikers assisted, zero, clear day, I have to figure out the actual wind speed, not getting fired speed run from here, can I talk to Connor, let's see if he like helps me out, Did you light it up yet? yes, I already did that. Dude, it's already there. How- how more lit can you want it to be? Nah, I just need to write the report. Okay, I can use the... This to like... See the wind speed. 20 knots! How much is that in real numbers? Wind speed, 20 knots. And... Temperature... The thing is in your room. Uh, can't use a compass for this. These are my tools. Okay, I can use the binoculars as well. There should be like some thermostat or something around here. I am learning how to be a park ranger. Not the flashlight. Arson. Next to the board. Oh, there we go. The temperature was 44.5 Fahrenheit. Thank you! 44.5. Oh! Yes, I'm right here. Tower 11 copy. Okay! Thank you! Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. At least he's here to help. He's a good guy. There's like a warning thing over here. Report submitted in 2002. Jack Garcia, Alex Thompson, Jacob Smith, Joshua Anderson, Samantha Brown, Abigail Wilson, Ethan Miller, 
Nicholas Clark, Sophia Jackson, Jack Nelson, Connor Hawkins, Madison Taylor, Alexander Johnson, and Christopher Martins. Martinez. Okay. Time to go to sleep. Good night, everybody. Okay. This seems nice, like we're getting used to the job. This feels like it could be like a game all by itself, aside from the... Oh... Amimir. This feels like it could be a game all by itself, beyond just Fierce to Fathom. I guess it is, because, like, it's very similar to Firewatch. Firewatch. I had to pee. No, let me get help from Connor first. Connor? Yeah, okay, that's... that ain't good. Let me go get... Let me go look at the binoc- Oh, my first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Where- Where was Connor's tower? Being left alone here was somewhat unsettling. Uh, chat, where was Connor's tower? I swear, like, I saw it, like, lit up when I got here. Did they get Connor? I don't even know who they are. Just piss off the side. I think I would get fired if they found that. Wait, no, I can just literally do that. Fuck yeah! Piss off the side of the tower! Yeah! I didn't even need to go to the bathroom. Nature! Nature, man, he took so well to piss. Nobody out here in these woods late at night, right? That's a person. <gasps> That's a person. Can I just go run up to him? Yo, I'm a park ranger. Fuck you. Oh, I can't go down. Eh. But imagine if I could, though. Reported. But I ain't no snitch. I ain't no fucking park ranger snitch. Let's go back to sleep. Piss on the person. You go report that now. You can't tell me what to do! Night two. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. But that is literally the job. Fuck the police! Yo, Connor, that you? Nice view. That's the life. That's the good shit right there, boy. It actually feels pretty homey during the day. Ah! Oh. You copy? I'm good. This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? I'm good. 
Yeet. What up, Connor? Son of a bitch. What? What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Uh. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me go have a look. Oh, yeah, I see it. The smoke was white, indicative of a campfire. Do you see that smoke up north? Yes, I do. Yeah, this really feels like Firewatch, actually. Spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? I am not supposed to go to the north, but... Do you have any other details? Is it safe? Any other details? Just follow lazy trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. All right, heading north. I'll get fucking killed. Thank you, Connor. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. All right. Keep yourself safe, Connor. Bear spray was this fucking thing, right? Oh my god, it has a bear on the side of the cover. Bear spray. Alright. Let's go up north. Can I actually grab the compass with me? Because I... I got, gotta be fucking honest? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I just gotta follow the trail then. Gotta be fucking honest. If I was in the woods, I would probably get lost. How will spraying the, ba the bears help? I mean, you want them to get off of you, right? I already, I already, I already got lost in where to go. Amazing. Uh, Lacey Trail on the right. Look at that floating bear spray. Caution, bears in the area. The illegal spray. 8.37. Oh, I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Bear attack. No camping. Violators will be sighted and moved. They got bared. Oh my gosh, did they get attacked by Cebu the Panda? Holy fucking shit, Kayla! Oh my god, that's a lot of messages. Uh... Just got home. You will not believe how easy this one is to tr throw together. Did you search yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. View from the tower. It actually saves the pictures that you take! That's awesome, actually! Thanks for the recipe. I might try it tonight. Is that a fucking whistle? Is that a machete? Emergency closure, trail obstructed. I will spray him. Oh. Yeah, this guy is clearly a hunter. I had to put it out. Just stamp on it. How do you get rid of forest fires? 
I am not a park ranger. All right, well, that's my job done out of here. Gonna leave that shit out of there. That's my job done. I don't need to care about anything else. Do not worry about what's going on in the woods. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was very wrong. My mind couldn't help but think of what might have happened. Oh. Man, that's some good atmosphere for a PS2 looking game. Holy shit. this shit to the authorities. Have to report to Connor about a vacant campsite. Connor, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? Oh, okay. Uh. Uh, talk about the campsite. I know, right? They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Shit, man. Anything else you notice in those woods? I it was a scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. No. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. That was not a lady. That was a manly scream. That was a that was an evolved fox. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Ah, oh, shit! Missing kids! About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. Ah. No oh. What happened to those kids, Connor? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. The Whistling Man. People started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entity. The Whistling Man. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. The writing of this game has gotten so much better since the first episode. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Right. Glad to be of service. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. No problem, dude. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Those gooners. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Hey, Joe Farrow, thank you for the seven months. Damn, I came back from the streets just when you were playing the only one I played before. That's okay. You can watch the rest on the VOD. It was pretty fun, though. Can I make my report? Still need to actually figure out. Oh! Hey, Kayla! Oh. I can't send her messages. I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look at what I got. Fucking lasagna! Once again! Mom made the same casserole recipe today. It looks like lasagna. 
Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Pizza pasta bake. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Place all the ingredients in a casserole. Bake at 420 degrees. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Enjoy! I mean, I can't really do that, can I? Get it? Can I? CAN I? Anyways. I guess I'll just go to sleep. Fuck this shit. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Fuck. Uh, get a pot. Uncooked pasta. Fuck. <laughs> there we go. Had to get all the, the ingredients Kayla's recipe was asking for. Marinara sauce. Uh... How do you get marinara sauce in the middle of the woods? Yeah, I don't have any cans for that. You get marinara sauce. Let him cook. Place all the ingredients in a casserole. Pepperoni, marinara sauce. Pizza pasta bake. Well, that's the same recipe. Wait, is it the same recipe? Yes, it is. Marinara sauce, marinara sauce. Let's check out the supply shack downstairs, yes? I'm just loudly making dinner at like... What time is it? Fucking... 12 a.m.? This guy has no sense of, like, when to eat. Same, to be honest. Did you hear that? Whew, okay. I have a fridge? Let's go back there. Fucking whistling man. Oh shit, I have a fridge! Sick! Give me that marinara sauce. Throw in there. Uh, can of cola. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, tomatoes? Uh, whatever the fuck this is. Nor. I don't know how to cook. Milk. Whatever the fuck this is. You know what, we'll just pile on all the ingredients in there. Shove it in there. Just, just shove it in there. <laughs> Pepperoni! Yeah, that, that works, right? And whatever the fuck this thing is, I don't even know. And some ice cream? And then some potatoes it just went in right right inside okay and whatever the fuck this thing is and some more ice cream and just shove it in the oven fuck yeah
cooking. That's your food for the entire week. It's okay. If you just eat it all at once, then you won't be hungry for the rest of the week. Hey, Connor. What is it? Fuck yeah, good job, my man. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, I was just getting to it. You better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Do you what? Thank you. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Bye bye, Connor. Thank you for streaming. I've been sick day. since yesterday, and really watching nice the streams has given me something to do. My cat is also enjoying the stream. Hey, pickle paint palette. Thank you for the five dollars. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Cat is obsessed, but, you know, as long as he's having fun. Thank you, Connor. Bye-bye, Connor. Alright, got time to figure out this shit again. We got a knot. It's about literally the same as yesterday. Sick. And uh, the temperature is 50.4. And it is cloudy. We assisted zero hikers. And I am Jack Nelson. Uh... The other members of the park... Parks have not reported yet. That is interesting. Okay, well, just forget about that. I'm sure that that's no problem. Also, is there something in the bin? There's no bin. Don't worry, don't worry. They, they'll probably just like getting the reports in late, right? Yeah. Eat that casserole in bed, boy. Like a good goblin. A lot of eating in these games, I realize. Are you gonna eat the entire fucking thing in one go, dude? I was already full. Okay, guess not. Guess he doesn't have the same stomach as the other protagonists. Save that for later. Sure. I thought I would get this stove wood lid. Okay. I need to have vac firewood though. I don't want to go outside. Fine, I'll go outside. Fuck it. Oh, hello there. Just grab the fucking things and go. How is one eating half a lasagna at one time? That bitch got a got a stomach. Nice. Just piss on it a little bit. I love doing these like menial tasks in like horror games. It literally helps like helps like set up the mood before the real shit starts. Always close the boards outside before heading to bed. The boards? Like Why 
What boards? Oh, the windows! Okay, that's a weird way of saying windows. Boards. Oop. Nor? Da 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 there we go night two completes Please, for the love of God, tell me this is like not like this. Is to tell me like this is like four nights. I was awoken by a weird fucking noise. Oh my God! There was something very strange about that night. And a gun. Hide! Okay. I felt as if I was being watched. Yeah, no shit. You see someone on the on the little sides of the board. Oh. Ooh. Oh great, a fucking death skull. That's nice. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. The cult of the tree is coming to get me! Okay, Connor! Connor, do you copy? I need to talk to you, it's urgent! Hello? Something outside my door. There's a fucking skull, dude. Uh, I don't think that I saw a big guy, a big cloak guy, big cloak guy. This is serious. Ah, oh, you bitch! All right, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. If I even have a tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. We're gonna get fucking destroyed by the cult of the tree, and we're gonna get our heart ripped out. It'll be morning before you know it. Okay. Should I get some sleep check? Over and out. Ah, thank you, Connor. I like Connor. He's a good guy. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. I'm asleep.
Night three. Please tell me it's. Please tell me it's like four or three nights. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason that it was just a harmless pa prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt... Darker. There is something strange happening in these woods. 8.34pm. Oh, now we're in Silent Hill. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower. Or by scanning the densities of the trees around me. My paranoia of these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Jesus fucking Christ, Jack, just clean up your lenses! Day after day after day after day after day we fly As the moon and the sun and we don't know why I can see shit What am I supposed to be looking out for? I'll clean the glasses. There we go, Jack. Oh. Why a flare? Are is that a robe? Or is that just another tree? Ah, hello! Thank you, Shy Mike, for the $36. I don't even know what the fuck you just said to me. Pyro's in the forest. He's not very kind because he doesn't show himself. And I don't know where he is. I'm gonna go back. Everything should be fine, right? We just we should just talk to Connor about the flare gun. Yo, bitch! Hello? Is anyone there? I'm here! I, I need help! Wahapa! Please, someone answer. Oh. Connor? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Shit. I think... I think I'm lost. Can you describe your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Ugh. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, there we but go. no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. Scary. I just want to find a way out of here. Uh, what direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Remember any Loudon Barks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Ugh, 
Thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back oh, to the trailhead. It's Can you help me? It's actually it's actually like killer frequency. Let me scan the map and get back to you. Okay, so... Connor shoot off a flare from here, right? Uh, hello? Don't worry, Connor, I'm helping. Are, are you still there? All yeah. of these trails seem pretty similar. Mm. I, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. It's okay, Connor, we can help. Uh, this is north, so this is west. So he shot a flare gun from the west. Okay. And there's a map. <laughs> Paranoia urged me to close the door before sitting down. Okay, so. We are Tower 11. Looking off towards the north. He is on the west side with a long trail, and there is a river. Is it? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? We are at Tower 11. In the right in the middle of there. We can take a path. That is the path of Lacey's Trail. We went there when we found the campfire. Uh, hello? It's okay, Connor. It's fine. It's fine. Just, just hold on a second. Intersection. Okay, okay. You should go towards. The right. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Phil, that's not Connor. The game is telling you that it's a hiker. Wait, that ain't Connor? Oh! Oh, yeah, that's hi that's a hiker. I thought I thought he sounded like Connor. Shit, you're right, chat. Um, then you should take the left trail. I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. Yeah, you're welcome. What do you mean? I hear you. Uh? I hear your whistles. I think I might have fucked up. I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. <clears throat> that ain't me. No one's here. No one's here. I'm fucking dead. Okay, <laughs> holy moly, what took you so long in there? Oh, 
I've been knocking for hours. I asked, I was asked to check up on you. What were you up to, pal? Eh, just finishing up a report, nothing much. No worries, pal. Got your tower supplies right here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Thank you. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire smoke? Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of ya. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Should I mention the skull, actually? Like, this... This guy doesn't seem very trustworthy. I don't know. Uh... Should I mention the skull? I... Mention it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Do you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Shit. I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thank you for the supplies. Close the fucking door on him. I'm fucking watching you. Throw it in there. Throw it in there. Oh god, do I have to make my report now? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Okay, well that works. Man, this game fucking rules. I don't even know what this thing is. I know the game, like, explained what it is. It's just... I don't know, it just looks like a big-ass pizza plate to me. The hiker is 100% dead. Oh yeah, for sure, but better him than me. I like eating in bed. Yum, 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 yum. Like, better- better he die than I die, you know? Be sure to report the hiker. I mean, I did help him. Somehow. Yummy. Well, the story must be told by the survivor, right? Exactly. This is what canonically happened. That- that hiker got deaded. So I'll have to report for the night. Of course. Fucking terrified of going outside the- the station, but what- Oh, Connor's still alive! Very good. 23 knots. And 23 knots and 54.1 Fahrenheit. Fifty-three point one with a wind speed of twenty-three. It is clear skies, and I helped one hiker. What? Oh yeah, it's kind of misty, I guess.
What? Oh, 54 points. One. Uh, I mean, it is misty, but if you want cloudy, yeah, sure, you can give you that. Oh, okay. Uh, windy? There you go. Oh my fucking god, they're getting annihilated! Almost nobody turned in their report. Fuck! Okay. Where's Connor? May uh, maybe I'm just making a report early, I guess, but... Connor ain't there. Connor ain't there, man. Let's just go to sleep. Ah, fuck. I forget. I have to do this shit every night. Phil, best forest guider of 2023. Better? Okay. In a situation... In a situation where, like, it's kill or be killed, I better, like, misdirect some people to save my own skin. Ah! Fuck it out! <laughs> Why you do that? It's <laughs> gonna be a fucking heart attack, man. I understand loneliness can. <laughs> I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What the fuck are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routing maintenance on the radio tower over there. He's a fucking serial killer. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? That's ominous! That's fucking ominous. That is so fucking ominous. Fuck you. Ugh. Right, we rely information about re we rely information about fire sightings. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean by that? Nature has its own plan. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. This guy's definitely a serial killer! And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. Oh, he's talking about cleansing. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got- this is fucking- this is fucking- this is a serial killer right here. I wait for the land to purify itself. I should get back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack! Hope you sleep well. How do you know my name? But remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Bitch, this guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Oh, he's just going into the forest. He's just going in there. Slurped into the trees. Okay, got it. Well, whatever you say, motherfucker, I'll just stay out of your hair. He's going in the middle of the woods! The fuck? Not even following the trail. That guy's a tree man. He's the Lorax! He lives in the trees! Creepy Lorax cultist motherfucker. Alright, well. Put that shit in there, cover it in piss gasoline. Light it the fuck up. And then go the fuck to bed. Not like- <laughs> Don't fucking do that to me, Connor! <laughs> Yo, Connor, what about that report, asshole? Oh, what are you talking about? Coming? Don't tell me you're not going in there. Going where? What? Now. 
Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? Yeah! That's another guy! The guy maintaining the ra the nearby radio tower. It's just about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. <coughs> it was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. <coughs> Then who did I just talk to? Dun dun dun! Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name, Connor. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Yep. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Connor's gonna die next. Cause he, cause he's a, cause he's a, cause he's gonna die next. Oh boy. Next time you Call 911. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Bye bye, buddy. I'll see you never. You're probably gonna die after this. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Boy. It's so Jover. I don't think it's a ghost, maybe a cultist? Definitely. My unease was starting to grow after with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm. Yet! However, that would soon change. Two nights later! What a bitch. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. What? No more snoopers, I guess. Snoopers? What's it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. What do you mean by that? How do I update the computer? Oh, I need to do the command line. All this new technology. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. I've updated Linux. I don't give a shit. Got it, buddy. Ah, uh, shut the fuck up. It's all fine. It's all fine. Thank you, Connor. Yep. Look at all that shit. Please enter the update package code. That would be 4346084. Please enter an active line. Uh okay, now I'm kind of lost. What do you mean an active line? I guess 1045 5987 54 84 there we go ooh green background The power was out. <sighs> you know... Is it weird to say that I'm weirdly comforted by the rain? With all the noise going around... That's better than if it was just completely silent, you know?
The rain is nice. I guess. Gotta get the gas. Red regenerator ran out of gas. Where am I supposed to put the new gas? Where's the new gas? I got drenched in the rain. Yes. Got it fucking run Really had to pee before going back up. What do you mean? Piss on the side of the tower Piss Ah. Uh. Peace. That is not going anywhere. Hey, Shy Mike, thank you for the 20. Gas, gas, gas. Gas. Gas, gas, gas. We gonna step on the gas. That- none of that piss landed in there. Nature calls, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Yay! One week later- okay, you're getting used to it! Not much happening. Time was flying by. Conrad's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Time for the creepy part. What do you mean, time for the creepy part? I like that he stopped calling me a new a new guy and he started calling me Jack. That's very nice. We're building a relationship with Connor over here. Jack. Jack. I need you to wake up. You copy? Don't worry, buddy. I got you. You're 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 the only man that I trust right now. Jack, you copy. Right here, Connor. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I see more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Oh, not on the west. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me go have a look. No. I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. <sighs> they don't run away this time. Take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Give me a gun. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Fuck. You said west, right? There is no f there is no smoke west. We are so fucked. Oh, wait. That's not west? Hold on. That's north. That's west. This is east. Oh, it's west from Connor's Tower. Okay, yeah, that's Connor's Tower over there. 
It's west from him. Okay, got in. Okay. Gotta go check him out. Being a park ranger would be a fucking nightmarish job. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh! <gasps> it's the Druids! Need to take evidence of it. Uh need a photograph. I need I need my druid equipment. Where's the camera that I got? Shit. Do they Take photo. Please tell me you disabled the flash. You did it, you piece of shit! You dumb motherfucker! You dumb bitch, you fuck- Oh my fucking god, you dumb piece of shit! Why you do that? Why you do that? You fucking, you dumb fucking asshole. Fucking hide. Run, run, run! Oh! Fucking run! Sprint! Ah! I can't! God damn it, Sadler! God damn it, Sadler! <laughs> Thank you, Kubel. Why are you so slow, though? Let me go back to that. Shift the sprint. I did that. I fucking did that. Oh, you were crouching? Oh, fuck. No, I swear to God, I was not crouching. Phil died in every episode. Well, I'm getting the jump scares, right? I'm, 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 I'm recording the jump scares for my Fears to Fathom jump scare compilation fucking number 35, right? That's why I'm doing it. Seeing more smoke to my west. Yep. And those bitches. The Druids! Man, they're druiding it up over there. This is such a stupid way of getting caught, by the way. <gasps> Fucking run, boy.
Okay. And just go hide. The Druids are coming. The Druids are scary. The Scott Glen Yard is getting wary. But Halligan's coming to solve the quarrel. No matter how illegal corrupt. Strike back. Fuck, oh. 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 oh, so I think I need to wait until he's fully behind me. God damn it. <laughs> Bro really went gulp. Also, thank you, Lost Chris, for the $5. It's the mystery of the Druids. They all have an attitude. Is the mystery of the Druids. They all have an attitude. The Druids are coming. The Druids are scary. The Scotland Yard is getting wary. But Halligan's coming to solve the quarrel. No matter how illegal, corrupt, or immoral, it's the mystery of the Druids. They all got an attitude. It's the mystery of the Druids. They all got an attitude. It's the mystery of the Druids. A mystery from me and you. It's the mystery of the Druids. A mystery for me and you. Oh, oh. All right, let's let's do it. <gasps> Fucking get out of there, boy. There. Halligan's life was pretty bland, racking up that with the pizza tab. Oh. You didn't wait long enough! Okay, I can do it again. I think you need to run to Connor. Connor's on the other side of the goddamn forest! Maybe use the illegal spray? I mean, I guess I could spray him in the face, but I don't... Mm.
It's Halligan coming for your sisters. I think he has like a big set of sisters already, buddy. Thank you, Mia. Now this is going safely. Okay, where's the bear spray? There we go. So we will use the bear spray just in case. But then his life got flipped around when he found the bones at the hollow ground. It's the mystery of the druids. They all have an attitude. It's the mystery of the druids. <gasps> They all have an attitude. The druids are coming. The druids are scary. The Scotland Yard is getting ready. But Halligan's coming to solve the quarrel. No matter how illegal, corrupt, or immoral. I needed to. Oh, I was so fucking close. God. Oh, I was needed to go to the bathroom. I forgot. So the bear spray is useless. Yep. Let a dude poop in peace. Jesus, you need to go faster than that. Mr. Halligan! I'm glad that we could meet in person at last. Who are you? Please wait here a moment, Mr. Halligan. I threw it off the tower. <laughs> I'm glad that the game recognizes you that you can just throw the binoculars off the tower. It's human fresh. It's human flesh, Mr. Halligan.
As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just Stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. Hooray! The Onis still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark... These woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah. Apparently there is a secret ending to this game as well. He dropped the photo? Probably, honestly. I mean, let's be honest here, like, these are stories that random people on the internet give this guy on his email. So, take them with a grain of salt, obviously. Even though they are quote-unquote real stories, anyone can make up a story like this if they want to be, if they want to practice for, like, a horror story writing process, you know? But, it's nice to believe sometimes, I guess. A game by Rail Studios. Nah, I think it's true because I want to. They're believable, which makes them good. Yeah. Apparently, there is a secret ending, uh, according to one guy on the chat that I saw, that you can go into the final chapter and go to the left instead of the right. And you'll find something different. Maybe I'm just getting fucking trolled, but let's just try out one last time anyway. I went camping a few weeks ago, actually. I saw something sticking out in the leaves on the ground, and it was a crack pipe! <laughs> I mean, that's not really sinister. It was just a crackhead in the woods, but you know. Yeah, the stories are pretty believable. It could actually happen to anyone. Yeah, it's not any paranormal, like, ghost stuff. It's just, like, people encountering some strange activity. And usually it being the result of some motherfucker that is, like, insane or crazy or wants to spook you out. I'm really interested in what the fifth episode is gonna be. Every single one of these has been more detailed and, like, better than the other one. I would personally say that... the second and... fourth episode are my favorites. Because they have, like, the most, like, creepiest setup out of all of them, in my opinion. Like, the, yeah, the robes are a little bit, like, goofy, like, RE4 goofy, but... Aside from that, this situation is like a fucking nightmare shithouse. Now, do not drop it. Dude, those were binoculars. Those, that was not the camera.
Yeah, those are not the item that you use to take photos with. Apparently, if you go over here, you get a secret ending. Huh? The secret ending of death! <laughs> oh, I can see your eyes, motherfucker. Yeah, that guy was lying. That was a lie. But you know what? A last death to finish the stream is pretty good. Okay. Not that left, all oh, you assholes. I think he meant down the hill, Phil. Okay, let me, okay. Fears to Fathom, episode four. Endings. Nah, there's only one ending, asshole. There's only one ending, asshole. Yep. Yep. All right. That's it then. Spooky hangout screen. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? This one, guys. This was a nice stream. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be doing Choo Choo Charles Nightmare Mode. Apparently it's impossible, so I saved some time to make sure that I would have a lot of time to try to beat it. Uh, a lot of- I, I watched, like, the beginning of Spiss, like, Nightmare playthrough, and according to him, this was designed by the developer to be as impossible as possible, so I'm gonna have some fun tomorrow trying to beat a really hard challenge for y'all. So, hopefully that goes well. And apart from that, I really enjoyed this game. It's just like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like goofy, campy, PS2 ass horror. Like the enemies, like the, specifically the, the lady and the cultists gave me a lot of like GTA San Andreas type model horror, you know? Ooh, VHS fell, yes. Uh, what I think is... Some guys were talking about, like, the concept of a tunnel. Honestly, this series, this, like, format would actually be perfect for, like, my horror story. Like, for anybody here on the channel that knows about, like, the tunnel story. Uh, about, like, my fear of tunnels. Like, the, the way that I, like, I got a phobia of tunnels. Like, the, like I can imagine making a game like this like, fears to fathom, based on that story. Honestly, if I gotta be completely honest, this is the kind of game that... Well, well no, the, the small episodes are the kinds of games that I would be interested in making in the future. Like, in Godot, I would be interested in making VHS-type, low-poly, PS1 to PS2-type, like, horror games like this. This is the kind of shit that just, like, gets to me, you know? Like, yeah, sure, at the end of the day, if you go and look at the end of each episode, all the scares were pretty, like, mild. Like, they were just, like, a guy jumping out at you from the from the darkness. But it's not about the jump scare. 
it's all about the atmosphere and the story and like the concept that you're giving the way like that you put the characters in these uncomfortable creepy situations the sounds and the music that you use and the way that you stylize everything in this like ethereal ma barely real low poly retro aesthetic like that's the kind of shit i love you know so in the future I will hopefully learn Godot and make some test, like, free test projects. Which is just gonna be me, like, playing around with these kinds of concepts, you know? This is the kind of direction that I wanna go for. Like, whenever I get, like, into game development again and, like, try to learn Godot and try to learn this kinds of project horror stops again, you know? Go and make your own Lost in Vivo, Phil. I want to play Lost in Vivo as well. I have had Lost in Vivo as an option for the toxic member polls for the streams since season one, and it's still not been chosen. I am getting pissed that that's not happening. So I think at some point I'm just gonna grab like Lost in Vivo and just slot it into like the weekend streams. Just without asking chat. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. Tomorrow, like I said, we will be doing uh choo choo charles so i'll see you hopefully tomorrow bye bye